Hello? 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 Hi. Is, is that John on the other side of this uh, Discord call? Yeah, he found me. True. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy Sunday morning. Oh, it's not that happy. It's Sunday. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, but we're here now, so it's better. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Everything's better with me. Exactly. Um, good morning, Amber. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is good. Hope your weekend was nice. And John, good congrats good on, uh, on your first there. Your first first of the year. That's pretty yeah. good. Hold on, I gotta play yeah. the song. You gotta sing it with me. Okay. Hold on, here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll count you in. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, uh, one. Sweet is number one. Oh, God. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. But congratulations. Well done. You've done it. You're welcome. You've done it. Well done. Listen, that was flawless on my part, I think. Congrats. Congrats. You clicked the button first. Yeah. It's pretty good. I was in your stream first. I was excited to watch the stream. I, I'm here to support you. Heck yeah. And you're just giving me that, like, oh, congrats, you clicked the button first. You As if, button. like, what I'm not, what I did isn't, like, doesn't mean something. It's kind of the whole idea of the button, though, John. That it's, it's, it's just, you, you, you click the button first. Well done. Good, good. It's like the YouTube comments. Well done. You, you type well, first. I first. Guess, GG's. I guess, I, will, I guess I'll stop watching your stream. Well, that's it. I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> Are you ready to play some gears? No. What did you want to do instead? Uh... Okay, now I'm ready to play some gears. All right, that sounds good to me. I th I don't know. We might be able to finish this today. I don't know how far we got last time. I feel like it may or may not have been around a halfway point. I hope yeah. that the Checkpoint saved and stuff. If boy, if that uh, what would we do if we'd have to start over? This isn't Pikmin. I'm not down to start this over. Again. No, well, you'd install Monster Hunter. <laughs> well, we both would have to because I also don't have it installed. Yeah. But yeah, we do a oh, we could do a tier list. We could do a tier list. We've never done a tier list ever. We haven't? Ever, ever. Neither one of us. Neither one of us at all in our lives have done one. No, you're right. No. Truthful and accurate. I do like the intro music for Gears, you know? You don't? I do. Oh, yeah. Like the doo 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 doo. -doo. That kind of like it's... echoey music. It's nice. It's kind of nostalgic. It's, uh, Gears is a bit of, um,. You never hear about Gears' like, music, but they had some jams in this game. Yeah, I believe it. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I believe it. Like, I mean, like, the music isn't bad. I mean, they got that... It's very... dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, bombastic or whatever. Does... Was but, Mad World just in the trailer for 3, or does it actually appear in the, in the game? The, uh, if there's an instrumental... When, oh. spo when spoiler dies. When spoiler happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so, well, but I couldn't remember. the game is like 15 years old. I mean, I think we could say it. I think we said it last time. <laughs> um, but I, I wasn't sure if that was like an instrumental cover or I couldn't remember if it was the actual song or not. But yeah, makes sense. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it was, there wasn't any. Well, I don't it... think there was any words. There would have been dialogue happening over it, so it makes sense that yeah. there wasn't words. A fitting and appropriate end to the character, I think. Invite sent, John. Notice how... Well, we'll wait. I, I, did, you, did you play Gears 4 or 5? I played four. Right. And I played parts of five. I don't think I finished five. Okay. I also played four, but didn't finish five. 
I wonder if they've killed Dom yet. Or uh, Marcus, sorry. I don't think so. It certainly felt like that was the trajectory that they were going in for a while there. Introducing like an entire new cast of younger guys. Bringing in Marcus and whatnot. You invited me, right? Twice now, yeah. Oh. I bet it didn't even pop up. Good morning, Odie. How you doing? In the Xbox app. Not in the game itself. Nothing or like nothing popped up. It, I just looked down and there was a two in the little window thing. Mm, yeah. Gotta love oh, the Xbox, in Xbox app. Odie, I hope you're having a good weekend. How are things? Not too good. Not too good, though, because it's Sunday. Sunday, 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 uh, Sunday. Hold on one second. Hold it on. Ah! Guybrush has been a bit of a pest this morning. How yeah. so? What are you doing? He's just scratching at the door because he wants to go outside, but he knows he's not allowed, so he's just doing it anyway. Uh, what are we doing here? Um, settings apply, local network. I don't remember what I did last time. Private Xbox Live, probably? Latest. Low previous chapter. Oh, nice, okay. Act three out of five. All right, so we're certainly halfway. Neat. Yeah. Neat. Oh, and we're halfway through this one, so we're like legitimately 2.5 out of five right now. Neat. Uh, it's been a good weekend. We moved around a lot of the first floor of the house. I saw your post. Uh, you moved your PC and stuff. That's good. Like uh, like a new refreshing PC setup, you know, it's nice to move things around every now and then, get a change of scenery and just kind of, it's the idea of feng shui, I suppose, because I find when I move my room around, it kind of gives me a bit of motivation for the next few days or whatever, kind of pips me up, you know. You ready to do this, John? You ready to shoot some guys? Hold on, let me mentally prepare. Got it. Scratch okay. one dead grub. I don't really remember shit. how to do this. Do, 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 Press the button. Man, you should have need to get in your own car. What? No way am I standing next to you. What? Let's just get this. Oh over. no. Let's do this thing. We're going on a railway ride. Playing Donkey Kong Country right now. Get him, John. Uh, you're doing great. Oh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, John. Well, if I don't... If I just hide... Yeah, there's no real... Are we supposed to do something? Okay, no. We got rerouted. Thank God we were heading straight for that fire. We nearly went right through the fire in the flames. Uh, do you move your uh, bedrooms around much, John? Like your your house, your bedroom at all, or any of that? Uh, that depends. What's a lot? Uh, you know, uh, once a year. No, not once a year. So not not that frequent. No. I, Maybe. I, I can sometimes do it twice a year. No, I might do it once every few years. You guys okay? Early. It's too much, on, like, baby. The train's at home on the rail. I, get, I don't know, it's too much stuff. Yeah. It's, or not it's, too much stuff, not like it's too shit. much of a pain to, like, rotate everything. It's definitely a lot, yeah. God. We're turning the place, we're turning the room my PC was in into a guest room and or a storage room. Oh, nice, very good. I've got a storage room myself and I find it's quite helpful. What is this part of the game? <laughs> uh, Did they just want to like split up the characters and show that? 
so I can put them on cool different tracks or something? It just feels... It seems a bit like... Whatever. Yeah, it's a little out of place. Like, what's the point? I guess we're just trying to get to, even... get to a place, but... Yeah. There's, like, no action. <laughs> like, we're even literally you just know that are there, you don't even need to shoot. There might be, like, a couple of times with those glowy ones that explode, but... The ones on the ceiling, yeah. Checking tickets. And, you know, I shoot that guy because he's there and it's fun. Lock and low. We did it! Man, that was a bit tough. I can see why this game is rated in for mature. Yep. Oh, am I dead? Oh, that's Bayard. Never uh, mind. That was fun. He had a great time. Control, this is Delta. Do you read? <coughs> I copy. You're almost there. The drilling platforms are straight ahead in the core room. You guys hear that? Yep. Almost there. Almost then there. Move out. This plant has worked two days without a lost time injury. The best previous before record was four days. Very good. These lotus are not very careful. Not very uh, OSHA friendly, no. How'd you get out of there? Get where? Oh, we're still sp split up. Here, there's a green button. Oh, that you probably need to press. Hold on. I press buttons. Oh, maybe like at the wait. same time though, because I've got one here too. Yeah, there we go. This is a freaking mess. Hey, all right, I think we're back together now. Or no, nope, not quite. Cold train, the baby. Ooh. You got the cold train, baby. And I just cut a man in half. Got one. I'm just running. Oh, fair enough. Like, there's nothing here. The big one quarter there. now. Control, this is Delta. We've entered the core room. Stand by, Delta. Oh, I'm no. raising the platform for you. I just oh. ran by and let... Oh. I just let ran by and let the coal train deal with it, baby. Woo! I tried to do the same thing and then just got killed, so... <laughs> Control. See, the coal train was with me, that's why you couldn't... Yeah, he had your back. But not yours. Baird wasn't there for me. You're almost there. The drilling platforms are straight ahead in the core room. You guys hear that? You yep. guys hear that? Then move out. Come on now, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Are you paying much attention to the game itself? Or, like, are you just, like, like the story and stuff? Or are you just shooting? I'm, I'm remembering it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't like, I wonder... remember why we're coming down here. I'm sure like, there's I'm a reason. Wonder, do you think, like... I'm wondering if Gears of War was a product of its time, or if it, like... Oh, yeah. I think it absolutely was. Screw this. I don't think, uh... I mean, unless they came out with, like, a big announcement or something, or... I don't know, I just don't think... There's much left for the franchise at this point. No. This kind of it's kind of had its time, you know. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, things come and go. Control. This you know, you kind of want things like this to have Stand their time and then go away, the as opposed to you. just always being around and being a constant annoyance. Like. But gears. Yeah. Like well, I'm like Call of Duty, for example. Like. It's just Call always of Duty thing. consistently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, they're not like forcing gears on us every year or anything like that. Even though they're bad and nobody plays them, you know. It's kind of nice that they've just said, "All right, no, we're done." Didn't they do that pop figure game though? All the same. Wasn't there the Gears of War like pop figure RPG? I don't know. I'm kind of glad it didn't go that too far down the road then. Ow, I exploded. 
Are you saying it's uh, Gears of Boar now? <laughs> Zing. I don't know. I think at, at the time it had some really cool ideas, right? Like, yeah. but I mean, giant like, laser coming down from the sky, like that was really but, new and cool at the time. Yeah, but I mean, like, with like some of the jokes and like just uh, get it done before dawn. Like, would you do you think like you'd hear some of the same jokes cool these time. days? Or is it just like a product of its time? Like uh, when it came. It's a very Xbox 360 time frame type deal. I think you're probably not wrong. Still make games like this. I, I don't know. They, I think they still write games like this. There are still characters and stuff out there like this. Like these are likable characters. You get to know yeah. them throughout the game and stuff too. Like stinks down here. Baird and Cole, like they're pretty huge. Everywhere. Years two introduces even more right, side characters and stuff. Get this done and get out the jokes are good. Like some back. of the stuff, you know, it's a bit dated. But like Cole's like entire personality, like it's the Cole Train, baby. Like that's a joke and that's funny. I like that. Cole Train is not a joke. No, sorry, Cole. But you know what I mean. It's good writing. It's Cole good Train is the best character. Like he's the second best video game character ever. Second best? Who's first? Yeah, Olimar. Oh, nice. Okay. Right. There you go. There you go. Name two better written characters you can't. Uh, written? <laughs> yeah, backstory, character development. Olimar oh, doesn't bro. speak much, though. You can't. You can't. Do you understand Olimar's pain? Do you know what it's like to be st stop, stuck on a planet and you're going to die? No, i got to be honest with you. I can't say I have. I can. Yeah, exactly. Where the fuck are we going? It's just like me, your entire personality is a joke as well. Oh no. That's rough. It's the cold train, baby. Woo! I think we gotta go down this this little in de decline. I'm gonna decline our friendship. Oh. Okay. It's too bad. Like oh, today just, or just in general? I mean it depends. I mean I'd rather like, you didn't, but like I can't really stop you if you're you know? Is this the start? Oh, we came back to the start. I came back to the start. Where are you? I stopped that way. Oh, you're fighting bogeys. Uh, yes. Great. Okay. You do all the work. We can't take okay. a chance with the resonator. Cole, Baird, you two stay here. And stay here, guys. You guys hang out. Ask Sass to go take Maybe care of this. It's all clear. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya, bitch. Oh, no, See ya, bitch. We're just gonna go in, we're gonna plant the resonator, and then we're gonna leave. Easy. I guess we're just trying to blow stuff up, right? It's not not really a very deep storyline in this one. No. I think we're just trying to blow like, up their main area. They don't even... I, mean, I don't think they mentioned Dom's wife at all. They certainly haven't, not yet. I get this is kind of one of those instances, right, where the first one is just a test, and then the two and three are, yeah, where the overarching story takes over. Similar with like Pirates of the Caribbean and anything that really has a trilogy. Great. You okay? Yeah. This game has a legit like, storyline. Uh, yeah. You and Cole are gonna yeah. Find an yeah. This one does. It's not the you know it's not the most right, interesting or deepest. We'll but like I said, yeah, it all leads into two. Two and three, which do have a pretty decent story, and like I said, a, a few more interesting characters get introduced and stuff too. Like it's not necessarily nice. like it is a very character-driven. I mean, the plot oh, can yeah. be a bit generic, but it is yeah, the characters yeah. and their motivations that drive it. Exactly, you get you get used to the characters, and and you know you get familiar with them, you come to like them, and then they kind of like, drive the story, and and what happens is pretty basic, but. The characters a, make it deep and more interesting to enjoy. Yeah, so. it's a game that when you play it, because it is a game that it doesn't look like it'd be very deep. No. But it as a it is a game that if you play it, you're going to be surprised with the story. Way. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's nice. Oh, then they die Game of Thrones style. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there is quite a bit of that in Gears. Yeah. They like to introduce characters and get you attached to them and then... You get to watch as they have acid spewed all over them and half of their corpse melts. That probably happens, Got right? One. Uh, yeah. I think that happens to one of the Carmines in the third game. Yeah, 
Well, they get swallowed. They go inside a giant locust, yeah. And I think, uh, I think they find like, someone yeah, half digested or something. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. So it was the second one. There's like this giant worm, and it eats yes, them. Right. The and Caramine ends up landing in in like acid or something, and he's like, it eats through his stomach or something. Yeah. Horrible, horrible way to go. But again, the Carmine character is is that's the whole joke. So he always gets brutally murdered. It's no good. We'll have to find another way. It's a bit of fun, you know. It's a bit of fun. That was they kind of they had know. they kind of had that little connection with their audience and stuff too, where they put like little in jokes like that in the game and kind of made it feel, yeah. feel a bit more alive, you know. But I didn't like. I felt bad for Carmine. Uh, I did too. Yeah, <laughs> I did too. Real Pookie, hello. Cass Cassios. How's it going? What's up? Gears of War. Okay, enough with the falling down already. How about Man, that joke? Did you like that one? What's your status? Still en route. I Most wonder why they never re like re released two and three. Well, well, when did this come out? If you get to the pump and station first, uh, you'll guide us in. I don't know, before you 4 came out, because deal. it was coming up with the... Oh, right. It's been a while ago now. You yeah, that? that's weird. Oh, boy. Nice. Um, yeah, because we played a lot of 2. 2 was kind of our one. That we played a lot of. Yeah. And uh, a remake of that would have been nice. But they never ever... Got around to the other two. Yeah, two was my first one. Right. It was the horde mode I was fond about. It. Yeah. I think. Well, I enjoyed the story the game too, but like the horde mode got me. Was what we played. Two was my favorite as well. Or my first as well. So. Thank you for the follow, Pookie. What's up? The sun's gonna come up soon. I'm grabbing it. Okay, we're running out. A of good time. Sunday. We we're gonna have to split up here, John. Find that station. Yeah, okay. What way do you want to go? I don't care. I don't care. I'm going left. I hope I got Send the right okay. path here. Hey, I hope we both do. I'll go left so you can take the right path. The correct path. Enemy Thank you. Thank you. Get bombs. Oh, I'll save yeah. your life. Please. Please do. What other kind of games came out in this era that you don't hear of anymore? I don't, uh, Crackdown? Did I talk about Crackdown? Crackdown wasn't that big like this one. I feel I hear Crackdown mentioned in like tier lists and stuff, but like never, never any like modern news or anything. So I don't uh, know. Maybe. Prototype? Wasn't Terry? Was was that the Terry Crews one? Crackdown? He was in like a what? commercial and maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'll Choosing directions is above your pay grade. Yeah, clear, mine too. Clearly, just died again. Sun's gonna come up soon. Okay, Sun's we're coming up real time. soon. We gotta split up and find that station. What else came out in that era? I hope I got the right path here. Hey, I hope we both. Oh do. my god! I played a lot of um. Enemy spotted. Carrados crash course. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. I had a 360. Um, and I've got a lot of games for it now, but I don't remember like playing a lot of them. No? No, because like... Oh, shit. Down. When it comes to the 360, like I can't really tell you what I played. I played Halo for sure. We're bad. The sun's going to come up soon. And I played... Okay, um, we're running out of time. I played Gears and like Rock, Rock, like Guitar Hero, I guess. Mm-hmm. Left 4 Dead would have been on the 360 as well, though. Both of them. Uh, both portals. Yeah. No, I I, 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 I did portal right on PC. Here. Okay. okay. Um, Grubs. The Batman games. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I played uh, played two of them. Oh yeah. Never did play Night. No. Nope. Night kind of. I won't say it has sucked, but. I heard it wasn't the best, no. No, it, it was a downgrade from the first two. They also had that Origin Batman game that 
I have, but I never played. I remember it was really, really buggy. Like, you'd get stuck in walls and stuff like that. And I think myself and Adam probably tried to play it one night. Myself, Adam, and Maddie, maybe, I think. And we just, yeah, just like kept glitching out like crazy. And we just decided, yeah. all right, ah. never mind. <laughs> but it might have been fixed. And it might be one of the better ones in the series. From what I have heard recently, maybe. I don't know. To look really? At. Yeah. Like, it might be better than Night, I mean. Like, maybe not better than Asylum or City, but... Oh, okay. But better than Night. Better than Night, at least, yeah. Yeah, but I, I okay. could be wrong. Because they... That one... That one was, uh... Nice! That one was in the news, too, because they got different voice actors for Batman and Joker, right? Because it's... They were younger. Yeah. Hi, Chris! How big Good morning! Hi, Chris. Must be close. Bear, you guys still out there? This is yeah. like this glowing goo. This is like the goo that they use in their weapons and stuff, isn't it? This is like a big. What? Yeah. A big source. It's a big pot point. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Will it explode if I shoot it? No. But I might warn if bad guys were here. <laughs> they did kind of. Oh, yeah. Hear us then, I think, yeah. Uh, we were talking Dead about Arkham Space Origins. Came out. Yeah. 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 What'd you say? Dead Space was out during the 360. Oh, true, days. yeah. Dead Space and Mass Effect were on, were two of the series that were out this time. Never that played I'm, Mass never Effect. Never played. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Did I. Heard a lot of good about it. And then, I guess, like, there was um, Resident Evil 5. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I say five, I mean six came out on the 360 also, but it wasn't as uh, well received as five. Oh shit! Corpse, sir! Well, it's him or us. Oh There's god. No going back. Bear, we've got a corpse, sir. Damn, that explains the earthquake. Uh, very okay, underrated, Arkham Origins was. Some of the best boss fights in the Batman games. Nice, okay. Well, there you go. Not hard to be better than Arkham Asylum's boss fights. No, that's right, true. Or Knights, because it's. There was some of those boss fights with the dumb fucking Batmobile. Oh, right. I heard people weren't a fan of the Batmobile stuff. Or maybe maybe not all of it, but some of it. I don't know. No, I haven't played it. I didn't like it. Who's this big lad? There's too many arms. Too many arms. This is a boss fight I don't remember. No? I do. Okay, you can't run past him. Fuck me. Uh. Ah, uh, his underbelly. There's gotta be a way to stop it. His fleshy underbelly. Use the chainsaw on it. I don't want to go in there. I will though. Ah! Nope. Couldn't make it in in time. That's you for real? This is you? Well, I'm sorry what we're, what we're having to do. I really want to try oh, to change that now. Fuck me. Oh, let me in. Let me in. Nah, I won't let me in close enough. Just wanted to say hi. Oh man. Oh man. Maybe not the best way to say hi when you're this big, though. A little intimidating. That's really. You know, just because it's a giant spider thing, that's a bit mean to say, don't say hi. Not like this. You're scary. In a bit of a, you know, more. Less aggressive way. When you're this big and terrifying. Oh my god. Throw a power sphere at it, it's probably at twelve percent. Yeah, I might have a decent decent success chance here. I've certainly done enough damage to it now. Come on, Go you big. All its sponges. 
That's all he is. He's a big hand with a face. Oh, fuck. And a bullet sponge. Yeah, exactly. Bullet sponge. That was one thing about these games, though, that they were bullet sponges. Yeah, the bosses are usually just shoot the weak point a lot until it's dead. Um, you'd be aggressive too if people came into your home and started shooting BB guns at you. That's not. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. Probably wouldn't try to hug them though. You know what I mean? How's everybody been enjoying Pal World? Is uh, the fun still alive? We still having a good time? I played it once, and that's good for me. I'm yeah. down. Same. You played it once. Yeah, I did. Nice. I didn't like it. No, that's fair. It's not your kind of game. But I, I don't like survival games. No. You enjoy um, Pal you en enjoy Pal World more than the Rumble. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though, like if you enjoy Pal wor wor World, uh, I think you should play it while you still can. I don't know. I think that they could lose the a lawsuit. No, I don't think so. Uh, I I don't know. Like some of these like designs, they're kind of like. Like, the third or fourth one you see is, like, clearly based off Honchkro. I don't know. The, yeah, the owl bird, yeah. Yeah, like... They, I think they still... It, like, a lot of... I don't know. It To me, like... It seems like they had... I'm not saying that they stole models or anything. I'm just saying that, like... The reason that they look good and, like, they could be Pokemon is because they were looking at Pokemon when they were designing them. There's no way. You can't deny it. I think, at the very least, you'll have them take a few of the designs out of the game and replace them with different ones. I don't think you're going to see the game taken down. I don't think you're going to see Nintendo taking yeah. legal action. I think that's all a bit of an overreaction. Yeah, they look the same, but they're not the same. And that's what copyright is. If they look Almost similar, but they're not the same, button. that means they're not Glad the same. Glad I grinded it in and we can grow golden. Yeah, but I mean, don't they say that, like... like... Hey! Thank you, Odie, for the sub. Appreciate that. Nine months, it's almost a year. Prime as well from Bezos. We appreciate those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? You are about to say something. Uh, nah. Uh, I think, like, why don't... I get the idea that they don't, like, they're not, they don't look exactly the same. But how come we don't see a bunch of, like, Mickey Mouse looking people, like, characters? Or, like, why isn't, don't, why don't we see something that looks a lot like Mario? I think, like, they look too different. They seem a bit too, like, the 69 Poke, uh, Pal World. It's clearly based off, like, the fire poison salamander Pokemon from Gen Sun and Moon. But it's look, look at the head. It has the same body shape, sure, but it's you can't you can't you can't take that lizard and compare it to the rabbit and say these two things this is a copyright. Because they're, they're different colors, they're different textures, they're different designs altogether. You can only draw a rabbit so many ways. And that's also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think there are some designs that are 100% way too close to Pokemon, and it's a little bit, you know, yeah, they probably. Yes, that's took that's some like I'm not. I haven't seen every monster. Well, there's like, there are some know, that look even but, closer like, to like there's a there's a grass rabbit that looks exactly like Scorbunny, like almost yes. exactly. So like I that one, I can see being taken out of the game, but the 69 yeah. one I don't think is too close at all. I think that's a fair, fair and, and unique design on their part. I don't know. I think the head is too similar. Yeah, but that, you can't I, I base an know. entire I... design on just the shape of the head. Mario and Louis, like, but not a good, not a good example, I suppose. But you know, it's just, just a lot of character. A lot of characters have similar shaped heads, and if the rest of them is different, then that's that's enough. That's plenty. 
god. I feel like we're- are we doing this right here? Yeah, it's just a bullet sponge. It's just a time thing, yeah. Because I'm running out of ammo now. Well, there's ammo. We have to, like, get past it. I guess. Are we supposed to run past maybe when it's distracted? I don't know. Like when we well, shoot it I enough and it screams? We, like, drop something on its head? Is there something above we're supposed to shoot? Is there a gimmick? If I go now while he's doing that. No, it just pushes you back. There's ammo right there. Just need to get in. Fuck. Oh, hold on now. Oh, do we throw a grenade oh. in his mouth maybe when he does that? Is it one of those? You shoot him, and when he rears back, I'll, I'll yuck a... Yeah. I'll yuck a bomb in his mouth. Okay. I don't think that works. There's ammo at the side. So ammo at the side there. You can try to grab. Yeah, I can't seem to get up close. Oh, oh he's backing up. Okay. Back. Grab that ammo. I don't know, there's been a lot of discourse on Richard! the internet lately about Pal World, and I think rightfully so. Because, um, you know, not only does it borrow from Pokemon, but it borrows from all the, the other games as well. You've got a lot of Breath of the Wild inspired stuff. You've got a lot of, you know, other stuff like that. It's very clear that the company did not come up with all, any of the, I, these ideas on their own. They just kind of mishmashed a bunch of ideas into one, and this is what we got. Yeah. But it's early okay. access. There's going to be a lot of changes made throughout the development of the program. I think. I think once the game is on official release, there'll be a lot of changes, and it'll be a different game and for the better. I'd like yeah, to hope like, that. I think, like, I don't, like... I think you'll see some of those designs taken out, replaced with better, newer designs, or just, you know, updated designs so they don't look as similar. Something like that. You know what I mean? And I think you're going to see some of the gameplay mechanics changed and tweaked to be a bit There's more unique, maybe, or stopping. a bit more... You know, at home in, in the game they're trying to make. So, I don't know. Like, There's going to be polishing what? changes. Like what? like, what mechanics besides, I guess, like, the Pokemon catching mechanic? Is there that's, like... Because, I mean, a lot of it just seems survival game to me. Well, it's very, much, it's, it's, it's very much... It's very much art. The way the whole leveling up system works and the, the, the quest tree and, like, how you unlock all your recipes and stuff. That's, that's directly talking? ripped from Ark. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, but like there's a grappling hook as well that just doesn't work really well and that needs to be changed and updated and there's some ideas that they've got for the base building that doesn't work as well as you'd like so I'd like to see some changes and updates and it seems like they've got that exactly in mind they're gonna put a focus on PvP and, and like um, PvP pet arenas and stuff like that too so you can just have Pokemon battles with your friends on a server and stuff like that. So I don't know. Listen, I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. This is what we're gonna. Oh, I guess. Oh, you must have to shoot it at a certain time. I just shot it in the face. I shot it in the belly first, and then I shot it in the face, and then you backed up. Okay. So maybe that's it. Or we just got a checkpoint, and it's giving all of this to us for free here. No fishing ability as well. Yeah, that's another thing Pal World is desperate for. Okay, but this is what I'm gonna do. Give me the gimmick of every gotta be a way to stop Pal it. World monster. Like, like Lizard Death wants to fuck people. Yeah. And I'll design. That's gonna be our next ass and sass stream. I'm gonna design a bunch of monsters that don't look like Pokemon. Oh, okay. Just to prove, you can draw a rabbit in ways that makes it look like it's not wearing shorts. Well, I think they specifically designed that rabbit to look sexy. It's Pokemon number not, 69, they knew yeah, what they were doing. No, that was, that's the uh, salamander. Oh, right, okay. We gotta do something to this, this bolt here. I think we need to get him to attack it. 
Okay. Because it like zoomed in on it earlier. Good morning, you're chopping logs. Morning, John boy. I got him. There are definitely some things they're rethinking from what I've seen. Like some people are capturing humans, keeping them in a cage, and then bringing them out one by one to execute or sell them into slavery. I think, you know, I think that's whatever. People do weird shit to villagers in Minecraft all the time, and speedruns and stuff, and nobody blinks an eye. So I don't think there's any any difference here, really, but... The whole catching humans thing is... is I don't know, it's an interesting take, but it's a bit... Ah, just in time. Yes, I don't know. Time like, listen, I'm, Man, you know what the most this. disappointing oh, thing about Power so World is for me? What's that? I was told it was going to be Pokemon with guns. Yeah, no, it's not. not. Arc with with Pokemon. It's, it's Arc with Pokemon. Ups. It's not Pokemon with guns. Yeah. I downloaded the game and I tried it. That, like, I know, I know it's such a popular like genre. I know everyone here likes it. <laughs> I know people love, love Minecraft and everything. I don't see the fun in having to pick up five p sticks to make a bigger stick. You're looking at it entirely wrong. It's the progression. It's the, it's the, all right, I started with nothing and now I've got this diamond mansion made out of gold and, and diamonds because I explored for 12 hours, found a lot of cool shit, put in the effort and built this fucking sick castle. That's, yeah, I that's get the goal. That. It's not running around yeah. picking up sticks for 25 yeah. hours or whatever. Look at all yeah, let's. I get the progression part. I understand much. that. How much do you think? All like, that I, I'm, I'm not worth. like. I Don't get. I've seen I the pictures. I know right. people can make stuff in those games. I understand the appeal, but like, if I, <laughs> it doesn't capture my attention at the beginning, so I stop playing it. Yeah, and that's fine. It's not a game that's meant for everybody. But it, 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 it baffles me how... How it's such an open and free, you know, do-it-however-you-want game. And there's nothing in it for some someone. I just, I don't... It's like, it's like someone gives you a big box of Legos in video game form and says, Here, do whatever you want. And you say, Nah, I'd rather you tell me what to do. <laughs> that's the... But again, it's not for everybody. So it makes sense. Listen, if some I people like building Legos resident. without the instructions, some yeah. people like building Legos with the instructions, and both are totally fine, and that's totally cool. Okay, but like, all I'm like, I don't know, like designing and building houses. You hear that? It just doesn't like that sound. Just that's word. something I would do for a job yeah, to get right. paid. When's not what I'd want to do in a video game. Okay. Right. But there's, I mean, that's not all of it either. There's, uh, you know, those there's an drones. end boss. Uh, there's a shit. end of Looks end like game upgraded. boss. There are special items you that you can get. Well, you know, you gotta yeah, go to the okay. nether to, yeah. Yeah. to get some so ingredients so you can make a potion stand, so you can get the best armor, so you Let's can go kill the ender stage. dragon. Like, there's there's goals and other stuff to achieve, too. It's not just, yeah. you know. If I want, I could just play Breath of the Wild. Like, if I wanted a... Not the same. Yeah, I know. But, like, it takes out the part that I don't want to do. It's like, I can, I can play Tears of the Kingdom and have that entire part where, like, oh, I can make a sh combine two weapons and something. And, like, be open world, run around, I'm down, by the way. And, like, Get up. break shit and build new shit. Yeah, but I think comparing building in Minecraft to building in Tears of the Kingdom is like comparing yeah. bronze to platinum. <laughs> building in Minecraft is so enjoyable, whereas bu building in Tears of the Kingdom felt incredibly clunky and frustrating to me. But I also hate building in games that isn't done well, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like that's like... I don't like building in Battle World. I don't like building in... But in, like, what I'm getting at with that is that I don't need to go pick up a bunch of sticks to make a bigger stick to get to the combine two more sticks together. I'm there. They give me the two sticks. Yeah. It skips the it ste skips the step that I don't want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Like. I. But there's. Do you not find there's no. 
there's more reward when you put in the time and effort to build a really cool house that you can survive in. Like, there's no reward in that for you. It's just more of a ball ache, I guess. It's like if you kill the Ender Dragon and you come back and after the credits roll in Minecraft and you you're in this massive mansion that you built yourself brick by brick, gathered the materials for, planned, put all that effort into. Like, is there not some sort of appreciation, some sort of reward, some sort of like shit? I can't believe I did that. That's incredible. Yeah, maybe. If I like fought, built, get into that point was fun. Yeah, no, exactly. So. It's just not for you. That's the end of this. Yeah. That's all it boils like, down to. Like, the into like it's item management. So I don't want to manage Let's items. Go. I don't want to huh? pick up, like... But that's why the best mod in Minecraft is one that sorts all your items for you. <laughs> that's Can't that's see? Like, I pal world. Because I'm the type... If I see something on the ground in a video game, I like to pick it up. Yeah, same. So if I have... I have if it... It's if it's it's supposed to scratch that itch of picking shit up, but then you get too heavy, and like then you have to make a storage crate or throw stuff away. Yeah. How come? Like, why do I need a workbench to tape some sticks together? How do I make the workbench if without a workbench? It tells Magic. You. There's a there's a tutorial. But like, Control, this is Delta. logically, how do I make a workbench? No one is looking at Minecraft, John, and thinking, how does this logically work? <laughs> yeah, but like, no, I'm not, like, what I'm getting at is, how come I have to use a workbench to make a weapon, but I don't need a workbench to make a workbench? Good, because I'm done You know what I'm getting at. If I was given a big box of Lego and told to do what I'd like, I'd start building and then realize I can't build what I wanted and I'd just throw everything away. If I want to build a spaceship, I can buy a spaceship set and know I can build it, or I can buy a big random set and then just hope it has the right pieces. And if it doesn't, it's a waste of my little free time. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. If building in Minecraft is great, then why do mods get added to build things differently? That's my main argument with modded Minecraft. Uh... You know, you play Minecraft one way for so long, and then you just play it a different way, and it just keeps things spicy, right? Just keeps things feeling interesting. Plus, some people have different opinions on what recipe should be, like... A stick and two rocks makes a sword. Some modders think that's stupid, and it should be two sticks and one rock. So sometimes you just get people changing it for personal opinion, but... Yeah, I don't know, but that's like, uh... I can see why so you'd make it like we'll use this you'd want to mod stuff. I don't know, that part makes sense. That? There's just Shut quality of life stuff it. mods. Yeah. Like, just for every game really, not just not just Minecraft. Look, those are locust tunnels. Apparently there's some pretty good right. um quality of life mods out for that? Monster Hunter World right now that are like almost did. necessary to have. Just because really? it, it makes everything a lot more easier to digest oh, yeah. and understand. Because there's just so much content in that game, it just kind of gives it to you a little bit easier. This is bullshit. It came from East Barricade Academy, from his father's house specifically. Whose father? Oh no. Sergeant Phoenix, sir. Uh oh. You think you can still find your way back home, Phoenix? Yes, sir. Gonna go have to talk to Daddy. Wait, who's this guy? The, the unknown Carmine proper. Oh. That wasn't as violent as you figured it could be. No. I mean, I guess, like, meant to be a bit scary, like, big monster man. Figured he would have, like, ripped man. his head off or something, but he just kind of... Or crushed it or something. Twisted but... it like a doorknob and he was done. Or crushed it, yeah. Cruising for a bruising. Sorry, honey, you're too hot. Well, those fuckers are dead. Gun one, take him down, take him down. We're landing now. <clears throat> Going back to 
games that aren't for you, um, that are for everybody else. I find FOMO gets me all the damn time. <laughs> like, I would have never bought Monster Hunter or given it a try in the first place if it wasn't for the FOMO. And, like, I was interested in Power World to begin with, but then once everybody else started talking about it, that was it. Other people are talking about it? I'm in. The FOMO gets to me so quickly. FOMO? Yeah. I feel like you, you don't have that. I feel like you have a lot more control Incoming. over <laughs> your impulses than now. I do. Because, like, a game comes out and everybody's playing it and everybody seems to have a good time, but if you're not interested, you're just like, nah. Oh, oh yeah. It's all good. Yeah. No. But whereas I, mean, I like... would, even if I know I probably wouldn't like it, I'd probably still buy it and try to still get involved. No, but I'm also not, like, active in, like, the community like you were. No, uh, true. Fair enough. FOMO, and, but FOMO I, got me Elden Ring. Like... FOMO got me Lethal Company. What FOMO is got FOMO? me Fear of Missing Out. F F O M O. Oh. The Fear of Missing Out, yeah. Okay. No. Like, when, when there's a big group of people that I, you know, talk to and hang out with, and they're all playing the same game, I don't like to be the one that's not. You know what I mean? I like to be involved in that. Just so not things. not so I can enjoy it, but so I can Some at least understand it and then still you know converse. Yeah, with people. but I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things I I can't I don't got time to try to get into everything that my oh, friends yeah. like that I don't like. We have different music tastes. We have different like I'm not a movie person like. No, but there has been, there have been times where you've heard a song that I like, and you're like, you know what, that's not bad. Or you've seen a movie that I recommended, and you're like, no, you know what, that's not bad. Yeah. So you don't think it's worthwhile to try things every now and then? Even if you think you might not like it? Well, you don't I think do. It's worth like, I'll, like, I... Giving it a go. I... Listen, I, we were chatting when... I, like, I don't think we were, it wasn't streamed, but like when we were played Fortnite together. Yeah. What yeah, did yeah. I say to you? I came in, like, what's your favorite rap artist? Yep. And then I told you that, like, I listen, I, I like to try different, like, genres sometimes, and I was listening to rap once. Oh my God. Like, I do try different things. It's you do, just... yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I don't want to die here. I'm also very, like, yeah, man. Frugal. Yes. I'm yeah, not yeah. frugal, but I'm good with. Like I don't. I won't go out and just buy a bunch of video games because my yeah. friends are playing them. Very good at not excessively spending. Yeah. Nice. I bought Resident Evil 4, played it once, and never again. Isn't that nice. Wow. <laughs> well, there's Halloween next year. Baldur's Gate and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, right? When you're streaming, there's always use for these games. So it's Halloween not a total waste to buy them and not really play them. What's, what are we doing for Halloween this year? That's a bit of a far off discussion, isn't it? Time to start planning. Guess what, Pookie? What? what? What's up? What's up, Pookie? What's up, Pookie? And yeah, John Boy, I think, gets the idea. Yeah, shared experiences are cool, too. Like, Minecraft alone? Yeah, boring as shit. I could see that. Minecraft on a server with a bunch of friends? That's, oh, yeah. that's a whole different story, too. Okay, and that's another thing. Like... There's a lot of things I play with you guys that I wouldn't play on my own. Like, I wouldn't yeah. be playing Fortnite if it wasn't for you guys. Like, a lot of PC games in general, like, I wouldn't have gotten into Dead by Daylight if I didn't play it with a friend. Yeah, I feel like PC games you've, you've definitely tried a lot more of yeah. in the more recent years, for sure. Yeah, Phasmo, well, like a... Fortnite, yeah. I, I mean, it's very rare for me to honestly invite you to play a game on PC these days where, if it's free at least, you're not, like... Just immediately, no. I feel like you'll, you, you've you given things a try quite recently. Where we go? Like you said, Fortnite. 100%. Yeah, Fortnite's a lot funner now, though. It is. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> Man, where on earth do I go? Chicken butt. Did you hit me with the guess what? Chicken butt. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Many used to do that to me all the time. Frugality oh. keeps my FOMO in check as well. Format. Like, I still haven't bought Baldur's Gate Control. 3 because this I'm waiting for a sale. There's so many games I have that I can wait for 50% off most sales. And yeah, that's good. I like that. I wish I had that 
Willpower as well, but again, that, the game gets gets popular. Popular. I want to understand why and, and be able to participate then in the conversation. So cave into the, the FOMO. On the yeah, and like no, I could like, I could read articles to also learn about the game and get involved in the conversation. But I would rather spend the money and play the game myself than just read about it. You know what I mean? And I mean like Elden Ring. Yeah. Like I'm interested in Elden Ring, but I wouldn't buy Elden we'll Ring if it wasn't for the fact you there, want to do like a multiplayer me. thing. Down, yeah. Take the so like we're still we'll playing it together at, in the end of the, at the end of the day. We're yeah. still sharing the experience. I just yeah, you kind of need a bit of a motivation later. for it first. Same with the Baldur's like, Gate. I'd I'd still like to play through all the way, but um, I'd like to get a gang together to go through it instead of doing it solo. You got to make sure Baldur's Gate and Elden Ring are on your wish list for sale notifications. I think uh, Elden Ring might be. I think. Uh... I don't think Baldur's Gate is going to go down super low any time. Probably not. Not after winning Game of the Year. Like, Cyberpunk is a game I think I'm gonna, I'm willing to give a go. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think I'll get... But, like, once it's on sale, like, and not, like, the sale that, like, like a... It sells need to go down a bit cheaper still. Yeah. Because, like, see the... To flip the coin on its head here now, I, that's a game that I have no interest in whatsoever. I did it, but until I bought the new PC, I was like, you know what? What's a oh, good game okay. for me to give it a try? Yeah, that's a good reason to try it, I think, because having a good graphics card and a nice-looking game like that, I think, would be. That's a good reason. And I think it's supposed to be better now. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know if I've got the patience to just sit down and do a single-player first-person shooter story, you know what I mean? I feel like I've just played so many of these at this point. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm oh. I got cut up. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Is the other guy streaming? No, 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 no. Just, just me today. Just me today. Um, I don't stream. Yeah. You have once or twice in the past. I have. But, uh... I don't know. I'm not a huge... I don't really like streaming. I don't like having to talk and entertain. No. It's too much work. Oh, I'm, done. I'm glad you don't stream because it means you can stream with me more. Like, I mean, Monster Hunter. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to stream for Monster Hunter. Because that we'll was be a, fighting the That was a rare circumstance where I fell for the FOMO and it finally paid off. Because, like, I, I wouldn't claim that I'm a massive Baldur's Gate fan. I wouldn't claim that I'm a massive Elder, Elden Ring fan. But I'm very much excited for the next Monster Hunter. So that's that's one that actually got me and converted me. That helped with the... Yeah, that had the demo, too. Yeah, yeah, the demo was, was, was helpful there, too, for sure. Yeah, that was one that, like... It, Monster Hunter is just fun. It is just you fun. You just have to, it's like... That. It is a game you have to definitely, like... You can't just not put in some, you that one you have to try a bit yeah I you gotta put some effort into learning intervals for sure but once you get there which i was willing to put more effort in learning that than a survival game right. or more effort in like playing that because fighting bosses big fucking monsters that's fun holy shit a t-rex let's fucking fight it all i'm it saying yeah yeah, yeah. And I'm saying <laughs> digging a little hole in the backyard of your small house that you just built and finding that it leads to a massive cavern and then you explore that cavern for two hours and you find a lot of gold and, and diamonds. That's pretty exciting as well. Yeah, so I can just and do that you don't have to house. die to the same boss four or five times over and over again. Which is also something I don't, uh, I don't miss in Minecraft. Boss runs. Corpse runs. Do you die? Is it easy to die in Minecraft? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice! And uh, depending on how you're playing, dying in Minecraft can be not so bad or it can be a fucking pain in the ass. So, 
many different experiences there as well. Is he dead? Am I? Not dead. I want to turn this this dial. This knob. FOMO, yeah. FOMO stands for the fear of missing out. We're all learning new terms here today. Is this guy just like stuck in the ground here? Can I just... Might be a hammer of dawn somewhere. Yeah. There is? Yeah. Where? Uh, over here. Get him with it. Yeah. Laser beam from space. Rise is really different from regular Monster Hunter. Much faster and streamlined combat. With regular regular Monster Hunter, you do have to go out and like mine or gather resources during night hunts, during hunts. But I, I would argue it's kind of the point. It's a hunter, not a fight, not a fighter. That makes sense. Yeah, I have only played one Monster Hunter, so I can't really oh, yeah. distinguish the differences. Yeah, that's the um. It wouldn't surprise me, John, if there's a lot more crafting and gathering and, and, and survival aspects in the newer modern, the next Down. Monster Hunter next next year. Uh, yeah, but that's going to be, oh my Jesus. That's going to be like, uh, more like Breath of the Wild. Like, I don't have to pick up a bunch of sticks to make a weapon. I'm still going to have my weapon. You know? Okay. So okay. All right. Speeds Here. up the process. What annoys you more, finding a sword and having it break after swinging it five times, to then now you need to go find another sword that breaks the same durability, or slapping two sticks together to make a sword? Because I would argue uh, the Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom weapon nonsense is ten times more annoying than having to glue sticks together in Minecraft. I can't stand the weapon weapon breaking in, in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And it's definitely worse in other games. It's not the worst that that mechanic has been in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but still not a not a fan. Like, okay. So I prefer Breath of the Wild because I don't need to keep picking up items. I don't need to like stop the flow of combat. Like, there's plenty of weapons in uh, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Like, you, you're you not going to get to the point where it's just like, ah, fuck, I don't have anything. Yeah. And even if you are, it kind of... Oh, shit. My biggest it annoyance kinda... with the weapons in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom is not so much having to, like having them and picking them up and having, and having a break. It's the fact that you constantly find weapons like so consistently that when you finish a, a, a shrine and your reward is a weapon, chances are you're just leaving that chest closed and leaving it there. And it's just a wasted opportunity for an actual reward. You know what I yes. mean? And that's yeah, well, so I mean... like deflating every time you go, oh cool, I got a new weapon. Oh, don't have any room for it. Now I got him inventory manage because this axe is better than the other axe I have but it's also better than this stick oh but the stick could come in handy so I, I maybe I'll keep the stick I'll keep this leaf as well but I'll get rid of that so, like I but like something that. like that same problem like, I have with I, Borderlands too so in when it comes okay so here's the thing Too many weapons if this was a survival game and it's like oh my stick is dead or broken what am I gonna do I guess I'll build a new like it's not as, like, you have to go and do... Is that? No, okay. But you have to build a workbench and hope that you have all this stuff, like, with you to make a weapon. Like, starting off, yes, but through the progression of Minecraft, later on in the game, you can enchant your weapons so that they heal as you use them and you never need to fix them again. You have those weapons that you have, those tools that you have, and those are the tools that you'll have for the rest of the game now because you've progressed to a certain point where you no longer need to glue sticks together. They just automatically repair themselves and you've got them for the rest of the game. Good. Like so that's, there's that's a mod for the progression. Like okay. No, so that's there's vanilla a mod. Minecraft. Yeah, but is there a mod that just does that right off the bat? Because that would There make... are some, yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, that would make the game better. It's like you, you're going on about your big building a big fancy house. What would ha like? Would you be happy if like after time your big fancy house just broke and then you have to build it all over again? That's the joy of Minecraft. <laughs> Playing Minecraft and getting sick of it, and then a year later starting a brand new world and starting over again? Yeah, that's the exciting part. Okay. Yeah, but okay, but like, what? the hells that you built, would you be happy if that house just like deteriorated after like a week in game time or something? No. Or no. like gears or something? No, no. Like, if, if, if a survival game, Where do we go? if I just had to build it one time and then I could just get it, great that would like that would keep me in the game but the fact that i have to can't keep doing it even if like you get to the point where you don't have to do it the point that likes trying to appeal like keep me interested in the game i can't do it so i don't get interested into it yeah no mm -hmm. when fair. it comes to breath of the wild like i know you could say oh what if i need a stick there's that many sticks and leaves in the game it's you don't need to like hold on to something because you know you'd be able to find it again and where the fuck am i going <laughs> so i'm opening a gate over here where it's like it's easy enough to you don't have to it's just a quick, easy way to bring up all your weapons in breath of the wild and like just like select it you don't have, even have to go into a menu and then, like, it shows you the strength, and, like, you don't have to drop it, you just... You don't have to drop it, right? You can just, like, if you're it full swaps of it out, weapon, I think. it swaps. Yeah, it yeah. auto-swaps auto for you. Like, they, they've definitely made it... Like I said, it's it's not the worst of the all-your-weapons-break mechanics that I've played before. But, like, I, I, it feels it takes away from the impact of the weapons. Like, finding a cool weapon doesn't matter, because it's just gonna break in a little while anyway, you're gonna to have to find a new one. Like, especially like the, the no, enemy that, drop that... weapons and stuff. Like, if I, if I kill a Wizrobe and I get his magic wand, but it breaks 20 minutes later, well, you know, I, I don't feel like that was a rare item that I found off an enemy that I, I you know, put a little more effort into killing. You know, okay. it doesn't feel okay. like a reward. Yeah, it feels but, like a... So, like, I think that, like, the Master Short was disappointing. Yeah, oh yeah. I'll say that. I think, like, like, again, I think I'm glad having, it didn't like, break and disappear, but it was still... Like, it's it was too limited. Like, having, nice. like, that's the problem with, like, weapon or durability and whatever. Like, they had to the nerf the Master Sword to force people from not just using the Master Sword, which yeah. is, like, the worst thing that could have happened, because, like, I, I want to use the Master Sword. <laughs> yeah, it's a Zelda game, of course. But, like, um... Come get me. When it comes to, like, the items, the weapons, okay, that's just equipment management. Now, it, like, it's not like, like, Wizrobe enemies, like, or, like, staffs, like, staff, like, it's not like there's only one in the game. You'll be able to get them again if you want. It's just you have it, and you keep it for when you need it the most, because it's not something you just use on, like, random enemies. No. And when you use it, and it's, like, gone, then you, you know, go out and get a new one. Sometimes, like, when you're in your... doing the shrines, you might come up... come across another, like, thunder sword or whatever the fuck you can get, and you're like, oh, I've already got a thunder sword, but now I can have two, which makes me more willing to use the other thunder sword. I think, like, you can't think of it, Thanks like... For the assist. I don't know. I think these better weapons or more interesting weapons than Breath of the Wild, you treat like just equipment management. You use them when you want to use them. Or like use them at the right time. Yeah. But I. I that like, seems it's limiting not to one me, of those. You know? like, I, yeah. it's, it's the same. You I, don't have to. No, I know. I know. But like, it's, it's the same thing that I felt about Borderlands, right? You get so many weapons so consistently. You find a. You find a handgun that you really, really like. It like fits the playstyle you like. It it's got the ammo, the recoil yet. that you like, oh, the right. element that you like, or whatever. And I will go ahead, clear the way. But then you do a dungeon you and you find a gun can. that is a handgun that's ten times better than the handgun that you like, and that you you've got to use that better handgun now. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to kill the enemies, and it's like you've got to give up this Control thing that you like and enjoy, or this thing that you don't like and enjoy, simply and because it's stronger. Pickup. You know what I mean? Conservatory clear. I think that's a. Uh, as far as I can tell, Delta One. Then that's, that's our that's, route. That's my Borderlands yeah, complaint. 
Yeah, th and I think that's a good complaint. About too many weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's not a complaint I think you can apply to Breath of the Wild just because you can have, like, there's so many It doesn't apply directly, pots. but it does apply, like, in Breath of the Wild, for example, let's say I really like the spear weapon. If I'm in an area where there's just none of those around and the one spear I break, I have breaks, well, that sucks because now I've got to play the rest of the game with a bunch of weapons that I may, may not really like as much, you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, this, this, this temple that I'm in only has giant axes around, and I freaking hate how slow they are and how heavy they are to carry, but it's the only weapon around, so I guess I'm just going to have to use yeah, this for a little while. But that's, but that's not the rest of the game. No, and no, like, no, but I've, th there are small instances of that in, in Breath yeah, of the Wild. And like I, I said, I'm I, not, I, 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 it's, it's not the worst of the mechanics, right? I'm, I'm, Jack, Breath of the Wild this door. is not horrible when it comes to this, but it is just a small annoyance that I have. Oh yeah, and I get like the annoyance, but well, it's still you know that means. like yeah, I, I don't think it's so Take bad cover. that like I know you might like spare weapons, but it's not like spare That's weapons are so Yeah, but you know, like it's not like there's any type of weapon that's rare in Breath of the Wild. It's not like you only find like you know, there's a spear, there's like an axe, but like those heavy weapons that just take a while to spin. Like, they, the clubs it's a very, yeah. like, there's not a lot of different weapon pipes. And that's like, I find with shooters and like Destiny is like, they some, they might shoot slow or Scratch whatever. Like, like yeah. but it's very simple in Breath of the Wild. There's only a few different fighting weapon styles. Yeah, thankfully. Thankfully, it's not as in depth as, and complex as, yeah, like Destiny or Borderlands. But even in Tears of the Kingdom, the, this, the small amount of playing in Tears of the Kingdom that I did, I found, like, a lot of times I wasn't taking any weapons because I was just gluing rocks to sticks and that was that was good enough. <laughs> so it almost made the weapons feel even more pointless. Because, like, it's cool. Uh, it's pretty cool to glue a spear to another giant spear, but, like, you do it once and it's like, all right, well, I did that I'll once. I'm just going to... Just gonna stick rocks to sticks now because the creativity is kind of, kind of gone. That's like the building in Tears of the Kingdom too. I did it once or twice, and I was like, "All right, that's enough now. <laughs> I'm done." I, I get the idea, but that's not why I'm playing Zelda. Yeah, well, I mean, like this conversation is derailed. I, I keep derailing it, but it's I fine. Think, We're talking I about think Zelda. That, uh, nice. It's like how you know I'm not interested in. Get that Building shit now. in oh Minecraft Tell doesn't mean are people aren't. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, well, okay. I thought like. Let's drop the hammer. Now I've never played Minecraft, or that mo much at least. Like, the physics interactions are like what's You're really fun go. about Heroes of the Kingdom's building mechanic. The physics interact? Oh, really? Yeah, like it's not what like oh, yeah. putting like can like rockets and shit on like boards and like blasting around. I guess, but I find uh, maybe I'm just shitty at it. <laughs> like I'm not an engineer, so I find a lot of the times when I build stuff in games like this, it doesn't work the way I want to, and I just get yeah, frustrated. Not... I'm like I want nice. this, I want this platform to rocket up into the air, and then I turn on the rockets, and like they just don't move. Nice. And I'm like, oh, oh nice. great. <laughs> I think Situation to get, like, Breath of all Tears of the Kingdom, I think to get the most, get the like, a lot Roger of it, that. like, peak, like it's very physics-based. And, like, yeah, at least in prison they gave me three I don't know, physics, I don't know how, like, it doesn't seem to be much up your wheelhouse. No, I'm not a big physics guy. Kind of, Quiet. I'm not a gamer. I'm not a gamer. I've played a few games that are kind of physics-based that I enjoyed. Uh, portal. That's got some. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just the I don't. Again, it comes back to the building. I just don't like the. Hey, here's a puzzle that in another Zelda game we would have given you a glider for, but in this game, spend 20 minutes building your own fucking glider. <laughs> it's like, oh man. So I guess yeah, that is it is a very similar mindset between why you don't like Minecraft and why I don't like that aspect of Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Because I don't want to have to build the items. Just give them to me. And you don't want to build the house. Just give them to me. <laughs> so it's... Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just like... I don't know. It's got that Tears of the Kingdom is like, is a, it's a puzzle. Whereas like, what's the puzzle of mine and dirt? Well, the puzzle, the, the puzzle in Minecraft is you gotta go find diamonds. Where are they? I don't know, go find them. Where do you get them? I don't know, go find them. Good luck. It, okay. What's the puzzle there? Find the diamonds. Where are they? How do you get them? How do you mine them? When you find them, how do you get them? What do you do with them once you have oh. them? That's a big guy, John. There must be a hammer down somewhere else. There is. It's up there. Oh, we've not done well with this guy in the past. Does the game give you hints to where the diamonds are and you have to solve clues or something? Nope. Just like in the first Zelda when they said, here you go. Go on. Yeah. Minecraft but... does the same thing. Here you go. Have fun. And you just figure stuff out. You just over time, you play enough and you explore enough and you figure it out. Yeah, but... Or in the modern day, is, you play is... on a server with friends and they help you and explore and explain things to you and stuff like that, right? Yeah, but like, what I'm... is digging down... Oh, is it a puzzle? No, it's not a puzzle, but it's... Exploration. You tell your own stories in Minecraft as well, like... The first time I spawned into my very first world in Minecraft... I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what anything was. I I remember in the distance seeing a creepy little green thing running around that I had no idea what it was. Um, I dug down into a sand pit, heard a hissing behind me, and I exploded and I died. And I was like, oh. Um, it turns out I was blown up by a creeper, but I had no idea. I didn't know. So I respawned and tried again and tried to figure out what just killed me. And you know, it's, you learn and you, and you progress and you... Explore and you experience. How are we supposed to? Are we supposed to get him outside? Or like we're supposed to? Because we can't get him with the hammer in here, can we? Open like a sky dome or something. Oh, maybe. How far can we go? Because he came upstairs with us. He was outside to begin with, wasn't he? But there is no outside. If we're in a greenhouse, so oh, there's no... Oh, we're in a no... greenhouse. Shit, okay, yeah. Maybe there is a switch then, yeah. Or can can the hammer shoot through the glass? No. My main issue with you can do anything games is that I can do anything I want IRL as well. And if I'm just going to explore and discover things for myself, why do I do it sitting behind a screen? If I want to spend time making a nice cozy house, I'd sort my apartment out and make a real living space nice and cozy. Yeah, and that's fair, but some people like separation from the real world and stuff, too. Like, you know, to, to go on a four-hour adventure in Minecraft to a, you know, an icy mountain is, is easy, whereas to go on an adventure to an icy mountain in real life is a two-week-long planned trip and two to three thousand dollars expense, you know what I mean? It's, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. But, like, you know... You can do things in Minecraft that you seriously can't do in real life. Like, same reason I play Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. I get to experience what it's like to have a house and a mortgage in Animal Crossing, and I will never experience that in my lifetime. So, that's kind of fun. That's why I like to run, like, the shopkeeper uh, sim games and stuff like that. I'll never own a shop in my lifetime. I'll never own my own business, but it's nice to nice to explore on. What if I, what if I did? House flipper. I'll never own a house. But what if I did? Wouldn't that be fun? So, like, Animal Crossing as a game, like, I think is a... I am not interested in the home design part of Animal Crossing. No. Like... When I play Animal Crossing, I dig up fossils, and when I find all the fossils, that's usually when I end up finishing, because, you know, you put a... I guess that's my goal. I don't have any interest in design in my house, which actually... I think really, you just I don't guess. like design, is what I'm learning about you today. You don't yeah, like building houses in Minecraft, you don't like decorating it's... your house in Animal Crossing. You, <laughs> you just don't have time for that shit. No. Give me, give me things to collect and guys to shoot. That's all John wants. Like, that would be if I wanted to, like, what I said. Like, I would just do that for a job. 
But why, why in your mind does that translate to job and not fun hobby that other people can do? Why does it have to be a job or not at all? Because I do it all the time for fun. Like I enjoy it. I would never. Yeah, but you don't. You don't work in. Say I would only work. do it as a you don't, job. You don't. You don't. You don't work in a line of work that I do. No, that's true. I suppose if you asked me to be around, you know, be social around people, I would say no. <laughs> like, Cause yeah, I hate that. Because like, that's what I do. <laughs> did you enjoy Gas Station Simulator? Yes, I did, actually. Very, would you want to play it out all the time, or would it be just like, ah, I deal with this too much? Well, there's not enough content in the game yeah. to play it all the time, but... I, my plans for this year is that if there's ever a snow day that I'm going to stream Gas Station Simulator instead of going to work. <laughs> hey, so we gotta... Because it's enjoyable. We might get a snow day. We're getting snow tomorrow, I think. Are we really? Yeah. Oh, I won't get a snow day. Come this way. What are we doing here, John? I've been watching this... I don't know. I've been hiding behind this tree watching this guy bounce around this for a while now. Well... We gotta do something, so, like, we better get looking. IMO, focused games are more better at what they do than sandbox games that try to do everything. I, I agree and disagree at the same time. Because I, you know, I've Minecraft is my most played game of all time, but I love story-based games as well. I think I think both can do wonders if they're done properly, and I, that, that's where what it all boils down to. Sandbox games can be disappointing and boring and dead in a week, but they can also survive and thrive for years and years and years. But the same can be said about story games. The internet these days thinks that a story game is a dead game because people play the story mode and then they're finished with it. It's like, what do you mean you didn't play this game for two years straight? Well, I finished the story and moved on. Like, it's okay to do that with games sometimes, but a lot of the younger generation, everything is such live service these days. Oh, Christ. Is there a switch? Is there like a lever? Is there a room? I just went upstairs again and looked around. There's nothing up there. We're gonna go ahead and see the live-action Minecraft movie on release day, John, I think. What? Live-action Minecraft movie? Have you not heard about this? No. Do you know who's playing Steve? Chris Pratt? This is Jack Black. Really? Jack Black is Minecraft Steve, yeah. The live-action Minecraft movie. So live-action, he's going to be Steve. Are they gonna make him look like Steve, or is it just gonna be Jack Black? I have no idea. I don't know. That's actually. Uh... Oh, I'm fucked. Marcus, Dom is out. Dead. Maybe the checkpoint will tell us something. Jason Momoa is voicing the Ender Dragon. Apparently, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It might end up being one of those. This is so ridiculous. I gotta see it kind of movies. Or it could end up being one of those. Okay, never mind. But I don't want to see this. <laughs> like, I wouldn't. I didn't give a shit until you said Jack Black. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. You're Try to get around her quietly. Try to get around her quietly. So where are we trying to get to? The way... this way. The where we just died was the way we were supposed to be going. Well, she crashed through that way, so... Nothing else is going on over here. Right. We have to assume this is the way to do it. Oh, God. Shit. That didn't happen last time. Yes, it did. Oh. Oh, she crashed through. Right, you just said that. Now I'm down. Oh. Hell. <laughs> We're not finishing this today, I don't think. Where are we supposed to go now? I... Oh, around. I see. Okay. We need to use the hammer. You've got the hammer? I picked it up, but then I lost it in that cut uh, checkpoint. Oh. I'm going back. Okay. That must be why they break open these walls. Did they put fucking barricades here? Are you kidding me? Shit. All right, I'm going back the long way. Keep her distracted. I can't go back. There must be another one. Oh, man. 
Must be another one. Oh, no, I do have it. Get roasted. Finally. That's not going to be enough, though. Oh, come out from there. Into the open again, please. There we go. I killed it. Well done, John. I tried to teabag, but... How about we never do that again? Yeah, that works for me. And... Do we pull this? Yeah. Wait. Is it dead to you? Am I pushing around a dead body on your screen? No. No, it's over here on my screen. Wow, we have different dead bodies. Oh, different corpses. Spooky. Spooky ooky. That means there's two of them. Alright, now maybe we can make a bit of progress here. They forward the timers. Hands down. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh. okay. It's done. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> What's your favorite Jack Black movie? Uh, what has he done? Kung Fu Panda, School of Rock, Tenacious D, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Be Kind Rewind, uh, Attack uh, Mars Attacks, Last the Holiday, Muppets. Jumanji, The Muppets. Uh. Probably more. Um. Schizo, hello, hello. Good day, good day. I don't know. The Muppets was good. The Muppets but... was good, but he is just a cameo. Well, a little bit more than a cameo, no, I guess. No, no. Like, I, I'd i say, yeah, more than a cameo. He's, a bit, he's like the one cameo that goes a bit more. I would um, say he's more of a support and role. Yeah, yeah. Because he gets a bitter, bigger role in well, the Yeah, because he was the host. Yeah. He becomes the host at the end. Uh, Jason Siegel's Muppet movie is one of my favorite movies ever, ever son. Yeah. I highly agree. Um, good morning, son, by the way. And Tomcat, how you guys doing? Good day, good day. Let's get so as well. Um, I, I, I think Jumanji is a good shout, Amber. I, I don't think that's a bad, uh, I don't think that's a bad shout. I think Jumanji was really, really good. The Mario movie was the Mar Mario, so that that's fun. That's true. I still oh, haven't yeah. seen it. Put it on the list. Yeah, I actually added a movie or two to the list last night. Uh... Um, the Muppets movie is incredible, 100%, hands down, no question. But no, I I wouldn't call the Muppets a, a Jack Black movie. No, no, no. He, it's a movie that he's in, but not a Jack Black movie. Um, Shallow Hal? Anybody? Favorites? Yeah? No. Um, I, I, I would, I'd, I'd anticipate a lot of people would say maybe like a Kung Fu Panda was his best movie. Or depending on who you are, maybe like a Tenacious D. Oh, I think most Hell people yeah. probably say School of Rock. Oh, true. True, true, true. I do like School of Rock as well. I don't know, I just like Jack Black. <laughs> He was in that episode of Community. That was also good. Uh, he was in Clone High. He was in Clone High. Also good. He's the pusher. Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah. Scratch Tropic Thunder, yeah. Very different role for him in that one. Satellite is I don't know... If it was. I, I feel like Jack Black... I don't know, because I think of like something like Tenacious D, and I think he's probably come become a lot more friendly, and like Shallow Hal. And I think he's just more family friendly now than he ever was. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. He definitely is now. Oh, he was in The Mandalorian. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Jack Black and Lizzo in the same episode, married to each other. 
Have fun. So many people were furious about that. How dare you put Jack Black and Lizzo in our perfect world of Star Wars? Like, fuck off. Let Jack Black be in Star Wars. Calm down. Let Ed Sheeran be in Game of Thrones, and let Jack Black be in Star Wars. Who gives a shit? Nobody gives a shit about Star Wars. Well, <laughs> Scratch one. I think that's just a factually incorrect. I think people give too much of a shit about Star Wars, and that's the issue. But we don't need to get into the Star Wars debate here today. That's a that's a spicy meatball. Oh, he was in Kong as well. Yeah, Jack Black was in Kong, Skull Island. I heard that one was also really good. I heard he was really good in it as well. The Holiday. We were talking about that earlier, son. Yeah, I don't think I've seen The Holiday. Yeah, I think, you know, I would have been annoyed if they had introduced Jack Black as, like, the next Jedi Knight, you know what I mean? That would have been weird, but he was just a side character in a one-off episode. It's it's fine. Yeah. People were so furious. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's one of those things that, like... Yeah, it was definitely because of Lizzo, not Jack Black. If it was ja just Jack Black, people would yeah, yeah, they wouldn't have cared, but no, you you, you put it. It is, which you know, kind of makes it worse. It does make it worse. Yeah, because <laughs> like they only don't like it because she's a woman. She's and a, a black woman. It's either because she's a black woman or a woman or or yeah, and one like, or two. It's and like, she's larger. Shitty, regardless. Yeah. And like, I get it. Like, why did they give this role to them and not to someone else? Like, I understand that, but maybe the director of that episode because was a fan. Yeah. Like, yes. It's, it's it, like what? <laughs> there's many reasons and valid reasons why they were in that episode. What? Yeah. Why can't? Jack why the fuck Black did Daniel Craig put on a stormtrooper hat not and be an actor? Yeah. Why can't? Yeah. Exactly. Why can't these? And Liz was done acting before as well. She's she can be classified as an actor, I think. I could be wrong in, yeah, in saying that, but. And like, even if she oh, is just a musician, you act all the time. Yeah, and and I mean, and again, Daniel Craig was in a Star Wars movie because he just happened to be on set that day. They put him in a stormtrooper outfit. No one would ever know it was him. But all that fuss and effort just to put a celebrity in a movie that no one's ever going to know about. Why do all that? And that's okay. But putting Jack Black and Lizzo, writing them into an episode. It's not okay. I got to... Fans of stuff are weird, man. Fandoms are weird. The Pokemon fandom has lost their mind now these days, too. There's just... Uh, I like to enjoy things in a small community. Not a big community. Does that make sense? Yeah. The Pastor Party community... We're pretty... We're pretty chill. We're pretty relaxed on, on the things we like. And the things that we get upset about are usually just silly, goofy things, right? And I think I mean, more like, more communities well, should break off. And... <laughs> it, when it comes to communities, it it's just, well, the, the fact is, like, it's just the the vocal. I'm right with uh, you. I mean, you know, it's just with life. It's always the, the like it's not the majority. It's just the loudest that you yeah. keep hearing about. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't care much for the Metroid community. Right. But like, that's definitely that wouldn't be all of the community. It's not like Matt is like. A dick. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the like the loud ones that are kind of like yeah. And like I was surprised when Game Nut told me that the Animal Crossing community was being really toxic lately, and I was like, that doesn't seem right. But it's not. It's not. It's the vocal minority. Yeah. That are the problem, not the whole community as a whole. Yeah. Because from what I've seen, the Animal Crossing community, it's all very wholesome and chill and relaxed. But there are a few that, yeah, the loud ones cause a problem for everybody. You just Matt need to is... shut up, I think. <laughs> People just need to keep their mouths shut. Matt's a dick, but that's irrelevant to the Metroid community. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you for the hydrate as well, son. Appreciate it. Mash is a shitty fucking community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, you know just is... reasons to stay out of them. Pikmin. Pikmin's best not toxic? Best. What's, what's there to be toxic about Black. Pikmin? Nice. Uh, exactly. No. Well, people are Dude, being oh. toxic about, oh, there's no no DLC anymore. Like, that. The, the, that's the new toxicity. When a game comes out and then there's no updates for it, people get kind of pissy. 
Meh. But I don't think I don't think Pikmin. <laughs> oh yeah. No. I mean, there's people who would like DLC. Yeah. But like, not like. See, here's the thing. It's like you don't hear toxic F Zero players when your game comes out like ten years at best, a new game every ten years. You're not like toxic because you're not entitled. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm 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 sure there's some toxic. Yes, there's still some toxic people. Toxic like, F Zero. A lot of the toxicity is because people are entitled. Yeah. Yeah. So like and if, if you, you haven't had a game for 10 years, yeah, you don't have that entitlement anymore. Entitlement. No, you're right. Yeah. It kind of it, it wears you out. <laughs> you have the entitlement for three, four years, and then after year six, seven of no game in your franchise, you're kind of like, you know what? All right. <laughs> I'm to shut up about it now, finally. But then they, then they give you one. And then that's enough. Then the entitlement comes swirling back. I think it, you need, it needs to be more than one. Oh yeah. I think some people you'd get like some of them would guess like give us more like how are they not giving us more? But I think like the major like you need a uh, more than one for like more a lot more of the community to start getting that entitlement. Yeah, that's what I think. Doesn't mean it's true. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot. I am. <laughs> John, but once again, I find myself. Don't know what we're doing. In this video game, and I have no idea where to go. Uh, go well, that way. It broke on us. So that tells us not that way. Yeah. We use our critical thinking skills. Well, we figured it out. might be hard for you. Yes. I don't have any of those. Am I mean? Uh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, there's a bomb there as well. Wait, 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 wait! Fight through the pain, buddy. I got shot. Oh, okay, let me get you again here. Hold on. There we are. I, we are. I want to chainsaw people. Am I a psychopath? Pikmin and F-Zero fandoms are not so much communities anymore. They're like the pockets of surviving elves that saw the light of the Silmaril and are internally in mourning. <laughs> Dear, you're not wrong though. You're not wrong. Ah, Sun says yes, that's why you're the ass. <laughs> I'm the ass because I look... My booty looks pretty... And I'm a dick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. To be fair, it's part of the reason we love you, John. There you go, yeah. Wouldn't have you any other way. I would. Oh? You know, you can change if you want to, right? You can you can not be a dick and mean if if you. Okay, if we all have our toxic <laughs> traits. If if we could all just change our toxic traits, but none of us would be toxic. It's true. Oh fuck yourself. That's the world we want to live in. Like bitch. <laughs> Everyone loves a touch of snark every now and then. Exactly. Yeah. Ugh. I can. I. I... I'm I'm so silly and goofy, like Bad almost all the time. The the it's nice now. to bring John in every now and then to kind of we'll ground me for courtyard. a bit. We have pretty civil, nice What's conversations, and then he calls me a jackass well, or a dipshit, and it just kind of resets everything. It's nice. It's a good, uh, good. Uh, Whenever uh, I ever called you a dipshit, I don't think you ever have. Actually, that's kind of exactly. not, not really a word. So stop spreading lies. Oh, shit. You'd probably call me a fuckhead or something like that instead. Yes, you are. You're spreading lies, fake news. A fuckhead is definitely one of your favorite ones. I'm gonna sue you for defamation. Defamation. Oh, Marcus, Dom is out. I've deflated you. Like uh, Mr. Patch from Magic Zooey. I'm out of ammo. By the way, I've got a pistol. Have you tried getting good? That doesn't help with ammo. Oh, there's some there. Oh, so he's shit. got a torque bow. I remember liking the torque bow. Pick it up. Help me out. There we go. Hey, can I have that bow? Marcus, I have is the torque bow in this you. game? Yes, it is. Not now. Yeah, torque bow. Uh, see if I can remember how to use it. Boom. <laughs> Boom indeed, sir. Head exploded. 
you see? See, we're, we were talking earlier about mechanics and stuff that of, were of its time, right? I think one of the things that interested me God most damn, about Gears of War is how different the and uh, how uh, uh, how unique all the weapons would like fire and reload. I feel like you don't get that in a lot of games. Uh, copy that, Anya. We are aware. No. Like, every single gun has, like, a different reticle, and it, like, moves different, and it reloads different. And I think that's kind of cool. That that kind of brings you into the game a bit more. Which is kind of like the, um, what was so interesting about Ratchet & Clank as well, because they had just so many different guns that did the weirdest stuff. Suck in a bunch of enemies and blow them back out at other enemies. Turn enemies into chickens. Suck in a bunch of enemies. Get back there and make sure that was good that shit. Blow them out. We're going I think that's why I'm not super interested in Cyberpunk. Is because what's what's the what's the catch? What's the gimmick? What's the it, what's it the cool pretty. thing? That's the, uh, <laughs> and I'm sure it is. But like that's not enough for me. I, I, need, yeah, I need a gameplay gimmick. But like. To me, it just seems Wait, like go through the story you... and talk to the characters, and I'm like, all right, okay. but that's just a generic so, first-person shooter. To GTA me. 6. Yeah. Do you have any interest in it? Yes. Hopefully, what's the difference between that and Cyberpunk? Because GTA 5 introduced game revolutionary mechanics, and I can't wait to see if GTA 6 does the same thing. What did? Uh, I'm not saying it didn't. I just don't remember what did. Uh, five release. Uh, open world online multiplayer on a massive map with vehicles and guns and basically oh, true yeah. Yeah. open world for the first time, kinda in a big RP like not RPG but like in a big open world game like that. Okay, the vehicles I'm... were like top top notch when they first came out. There was no vehicle like the amount of vehicles in GTA V was revolutionary at the time. I can't wait to see like if the GTA Six map is. As big as people are expecting it to be, what uh, is the variety of cars going to be even more insane than it was in GTA 5? I would imagine so. You know what? I'm going to admit. A lot of things were interactive you're... in GTA 5, but a lot of things weren't. Are there going to be more things that are interactive in GTA 6? Like they gave us the whole cell phone system in GTA 5. What kind of new modern system are we going to get in GTA 6? Is there going to be social media? Like, there's so much that I think could come from GTA 6 that there's to look forward to. I think you and I might look forward to different things. Social media isn't something on the top of my list. I'm not, a, like, oh, that's a nice touch. No, no, I'm not looking forward to social media. I'm looking forward to how they Upstairs implement social media into the there, game the to make it part of the game, you know what I mean? Like in GTA 4, you'd get cell phone calls from your cousin and you'd go bowling with them. That's how they introduced the cell phone in GTA 4. In GTA 5, it was how you it was your menu. Your phone was your menu. In GTA 6, what's your menu going to be? Is it going to be your phone again? Is your phone going to be as important as it was in GTA 5 and GTA 6? Or is it going to be left in the wayside and replaced with something else, a new mechanic? I was saying when I was playing GTA 5 how I thought it would be really, really cool how when you hit a telephone pole, do you get wrapped up in the in the wires? I think that would be cool to see in GTA 6. What on earth are the underwater Let's mechanics going to be like in GTA 6? Are there going to be any water sections at all in GTA 6? I just can't wait. I can't wait to see. I think Rockstar is going to revolutionize the world with GTA 6. The story is going to be insane. The, the characters are going to be insane. The graphics are going to be insane. Everything about GTA 6 is going to be an improvement on everything in GTA 5, and I just am excited to see what what it's all about. Whereas in Cyberpunk, Keanu Reeves, okay, it looks pretty, okay, but, but what else? What do I do in the game? Shoot people? Go to the next mission? Shoot people? Go to the next mission? Shoot people? It's not for me. Uh, yeah, but I guess there needs to be a bit I, more okay. to do. Or the story has to be really gripping. I don't mind a first-person first person shooter game like that if the story is compelling. Because that's what Portal is, Portal 2. But is it? But like, there are gimmicks there, too. There's, there's a lot more in Portal 2. But isn't, like, Grand Theft Auto just go from mission to mission and do different tasks? Yeah, like, but then there's side missions in between and unlockables and interesting characters to find and talk to and... 
hidden secrets across the map, and it's more exploring. Yeah, but I just, like, I guess I don't know much about Cyberpunk. Because I just no, feel I, like, wouldn't you be like able to find, know. like, interest in side characters and that, too? There's a seller. Let's go. But it seems so on the rails, right? It seems like Cyberpunk is, hey, okay, you're here, go here now. And there's no time to explore. Whereas in GTA, it's uh, like, go here now, uh, no. or you can go to the Burger Shack and chill out, or you can go up the mountain, or... But again, I don't know much about Cyberpunk. Yeah, I would have thought Cyberpunk would just have been like Grand Theft Auto with uh, robots or cyborgs. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> literally the exact same gameplay as GTA. It's a side quest and all that kind of stuff as well. I'm dead. I'm dead. I gotta stop trying to chainsaw everything that's trying to chainsaw me back. I don't know. The world of Cyberpunk just doesn't interest me. I'm going to play, I'm going to stream Cyberpunk, and you're going to get really into it. All right. Again, <laughs> I would have played it with the FOMO if the game wasn't a broken hey, piece of shit when it was again. released. So they oh, lost yeah, me on that. Right? that cool. if, if everybody in our Discord was playing it on release day, I would have bought it, I would have played it, I might have enjoyed it. But the discussion Nothing was not, do. hey, this game is great on release day, we all want to play it. It was, wow, this game is shit, I can't believe they made it. <laughs> so, they really lost me on that one. Yeah, that's more like... Check it out. I think... Check it out. It's like one of those things that are just I like... We found that's it. not a indication of the game, that's indication Maybe of the unfair the work jack. conditions. Let's... Yeah, yeah. That game developers have to go through. Yeah. And the unfair, like, crunch time. Like, it was released, they were able to go back and fix it, work on it, and apparently it's There's great now. That's what I've heard, yeah. Digging. A lot of people seem Check to like it. Ammo. But yeah, no, I agree, Schizo. I think, I think writing, writing off Cyberpunk and praising GTA, I don't think that's a hot take. I think, yeah, it's a different setting. It's a different vibe. It's a different advertisement style it's a different one is third person one is first person one has keanu reeves as their main focal point one has three main characters as their fame, oh, main shit. focal, focal point Keep them away from they might be similar but they are different experiences and you can definitely like one and hate the other one or like yeah, one and dislike think... the other one easily even if they are similar yeah okay and gta 5 did a very good job at marketing something that i'm interested in whereas cyberpunk has not interested me whatsoever and okay, i don't know anything about the gameplay okay. okay so they clearly didn't okay. get to me on and the I... gameplay either okay counterpoint that would be a fair argument if your argument was like you know i don't really care for this si like this type of setting i don't care for the design i'm not into like Marcus, it's open. first person shoot like whatever like your argument was that like Grand Theft Auto has social media and you can do side quests and there's interest in side characters. All like your argument was you didn't look at the differences, you looked at the similarities. Because I don't know argument. anything about Cyberpunk. I have nothing to compare it to. I'm just talking about what I'm excited about. I'm excited to see when GTA six comes out. Cyberpunk showed me absolutely nothing that I haven't seen already, just done in a cyberpunk world. Now, granted, Jack, GTA 6 hasn't see, shown us anything that we haven't seen already, but based on that trailer, I've got the feeling that they've got some stuff planned. All right, on you. And just, I've seen trailers for Cyberpunk. It just looks like, a gen to me, from the outside looking in, because I'm sure it's not, but from from the outside looking in, it looks like a generic, futuristic first-person shooter. Nothing really special sticks out to me personally. Nothing yeah, all answers and A lot of them. Not all. Yeah. I don't know. The job done. If you're a fan of that genre, if you're a fan of that then developer, of if you're a fan of Keanu Reeves, if you're a fan of any of that, I'm sure that that's for you, absolutely. Then we'll take but it's just us. not for me, and Jack, I haven't been interested enough to pay attention, I guess, because I had no idea that they were very similar gameplay styles. Give us your location. Do you like? Do you just go to the bar in Cyberpunk and hang out and like look at <laughs> look at titties like you do in a in strip club in GTA? Do you like steal cars and put them in your garage and 
change the spray paint of them and stuff like that. Because, like, as a kid, I used to go around and just collect cars. Yeah. But you're a kid, you shouldn't be playing Grand Theft Auto. Well, no, there's also that, too. But, um... And I feel like people are coming at me in the chat here now a little bit about how I should have presented my argument different. We're just We're shooting the, the shit, guys. This is not a professional, high-level debate where I've taken every single aspect into account to prepare an argument. I'm gonna forget some stuff. I'm just, we're just talking about experiences here. That, not, well, I'm down. But I don't know anything about Cyberpunk. I haven't, like... No, no, but I you're just... interested. And I'm, 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 I'm interested to hear what you think of it when you play it. I'm not telling anybody they shouldn't play it. I'm, my argument, I'm arguing that I'm not interested. I don't think anybody can tell me I'm wrong in my own opinion on a game, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can, you can say I... that I might be ignorant and I might not know everything, but yeah, that's that's because I'm not interested. I haven't looked for any of the information, <laughs> you know what I mean? And if a game can't get me interested in their marketing, Where are you going? then I don't know, I just, it's just not for me. GTA hooked me, Cyberpunk didn't. I, maybe I can't explain it. But that's that's the way it is. What way do we go? I don't know. We're, we're we're here again. Yeah. Okay. Is this another Maybe glitch we're... where the door's broken? We've got to reset. Know. When you press Y, does it point you towards that door? It does. Yeah. 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 We just knocked this door down. We did. Yeah. So I feel like we're supposed to go through here. Maybe. But we did, didn't we? Well, I, I Maybe feel like we have to leave. The second door should open. But uh, mm. wait, is there two doors? No, this one I knocked down, and this was the one that Jack tore down, wasn't it? Was that the one he was ripping? I thought so. So maybe it is broken then. Yeah. I'm not saying the GTA 6 uh, may not be excellent. However, there are a lot of good trailers for Starfield in the Harry Potter game, too, and look where they are. No, absolutely. I'm, like I said, I don't know for sure that they have all these things planned. I'm not in the GTA Insiders. I'm just saying I would like to see these things from GTA 6. And based on, you know, the improvements that they made from GTA 4 to GTA 5, I don't think, you know, having interactive power lines is, is that much of a reach. I think that's, that's something that, you know would add quite a bit to GTA 6. Will they do it? I don't know. But it's something I'd be interested to see. You get a much better idea of what they're going for once they release like some gameplay trailers for GTA 6. Then you can really, really kind of speculate about what they might be changing and stuff, but... I mean, we only really got a cinematic. Or was it cinematic? I don't remember. I don't know. That saved some ammo. <laughs> it's just cutting nothing in half all the time here. Yeah! No, it doesn't add much to the gameplay, no, but I think Rockstar likes to focus on stuff that doesn't necessarily impact the gameplay. It, in, in, it impacts the world building. It makes you feel more interactive, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's uh... I'd like to see cars get totaled in more interesting ways in GTA 6. I want to see cars get, like, cut in half. I want to see, you know, that kind of improvement. I want to see other stuff as well, don't get me wrong. But, like, yeah, if I hit a telephone pole and the pole falls over and now the wire's in the street and cars are getting stuck or electrocuted or something like that, that'd be really cool. That'd be really interactive. That would be a nice upgrade from GTA 5 to GTA 6. They might have other ideas for other ways they can make things a bit more interactive. Like I said, the water sections. GTA San Andreas and Vice City, you went in the water, you died. GTA 4, you were allowed to swim in it. GTA 5, they expanded on it. GTA 6, what's next? 
where do they push it to the next limit, you know what I mean? Where do they push having your main character learn to swim? <laughs> yeah. They push the limit once. You very well could, in GTA end. 6, you might have to, like, take take swimming lessons to increase your One of the main your, your characters stat. is going to turn out to be a fish person. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, here we go. Now we're talking. And they're allowed to uh, just go underwater and explore Atlantis. There's a completely second open world map that no one knows about all underwater. <laughs> all on Atlantis. Yeah. First DLC for GTA 6 is the Atlantic expansion. The Atlantis expansion. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How do we get that? You dummy. I'm just thinking that my, I'm just thinking they might be able to do that mechanically, but I definitely think that there are limits of what's fun compared to what's possible. Exactly, that's what I mean. You know, if it's if it's too graphically intensive, if it's too hard on the system, and it's going to like impact performances, then they might not do the the. The, 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 the telephone wire thing. And I'm not gonna look at the trailer and, and see that you just drive right through the telephone wires and say, ah, oh, shit, bad game, shitty game, I'm not buying it. I'm just speculating on things that they might improve on and little small detail touches that they might throw in. But have, at what point do we reach the um, diminishing returns? Like, how much, how innovative can it be? Well, based uh, off the hardware limitations we every have. every time a, a beautiful game nice. comes out, we all say, "Wow, there's no way graphics could ever get better than that." And then ten years pass, and we look at that same game, and you're more like, "Oh shit, that looks awful." <laughs> God, how far we've come. So I mean, there's always room to improve. There's always improvements. Yeah, it's gonna look. We're gonna be. Able like, we're gonna be like look like real actual people playing yeah. games. Well, VR is making making its move now. Did you? I saw a guy. There's a type of floor you can get installed now that you just walk on and you don't move. I think uh, Ready Player One is closer than we think it is. Lock and load. Imagine going to a lot of people are going to work meetings in VR these days. Well, like you're gonna be have your meetings with your boss and he's gonna be a hologram. That you're looking at with a VR headset. Huh? I think, and for this is my experience, like working with VR. Nice. Yep. Um, I think VR is not at that point yet. No, not yet. Like, it's like until they they need to like they need to advance the hardware. Yeah. With VR now. Um, but the best way, to, like, Philip DeFranco talks about AI a lot on his new show on YouTube. And one thing he says is, like, AI will, this is the worst AI will ever be. Because tomorrow, AI will have been, have gotten better. And it's the same thing with, with graphics and, 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 I mean, memory space. Like, think about how only five years ago, a terabyte was, like, the massive hard drive you could get. And now that's, like, that's minuscule compared to what you can get, right? Like... Every day that passes, technology advances incredibly fast. So, I don't know. I'm just curious it's to see what happens. It's kind of funny how... VR is at the worst it's ever going to be, right? VR is only ever going to get better. That's the point I was trying to make there. Yes. So I know. I just think it's funny that he felt the need to say, like, AR is only going to get better. That's kind of like, yeah. That's the whole idea, yeah. AI. Yeah. But like we're we're afraid of AI now, but it's only going to get better, right? That's that's the kind of idea that he was getting at when he said it that way. But yeah, but like I was gonna like that's the thing. Like you're a bit, you're not worried about AI at all. I mean, I don't like it. Like, and if it's only going to get better, like especially someone like you who's so like online, yeah, and present. Damn it. You don't get a bit spooked? Oh, I do. When my when my mom went away, when my mom and my nan went on a trip to Toronto, I told them, like, hey, if you get a phone call from me saying I'm in trouble and I need money, text me. Clarify with me before you send any money to anybody. So I, like, yeah. I've made my family very aware that, like, we got to be careful with this shit because my voice is on the internet quite a bit, and you never know. Damn it. So, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm concerned with AI. 
But we there's not really anything I can do about it, so... We need a code word. Just try not to think about it, really. Don't tell me the code word, because then I'll know. Yeah, you gotta come up with a code word with your friends. Or like in a question. Person. Or, yeah, like a secret question, yeah, that you'd never say on the internet to anybody. Only in person, ever. So that if there's ever a question, a time that you're you're concerned, you can, you can whip that out, yeah. Listen, here's the thing about AI. I don't think it's gonna be like got off like terrible it's gonna be like anything there's major benefits to using it and major downsides to having it yeah like it's gonna make we're gonna speed up a lot of stuff i use ai like i've been using chat uh gpt to help me like start programming again oh yeah there you go and like it's not like amazing like you can't just tell it to you still need to know what you're looking at yeah but it helps to kind of get the idea of how you're supposed to get everything the order and stuff yeah lock door i guess this is not the way we go yeah i think we gotta get that door open somehow we know how um Power lines in GTA 6 could also be annoying as hell. Yeah, you're you're also right. It, how it would be immersive, but it would also be annoying. So again, they gotta keep gameplay and fun in mind too with things like that. Um, AI is the latest buzzword. There's always been the technology there, but now people have realized that they can make a buck out of it. Um, yeah, no, there's always been AI. I mean, AI is in yeah has been in games for years and years and years, dating way way back. I mean, AI has been in all sorts of stuff. But yeah, it's it's the fact that people have realized now that they can try to fire employees and better. save money by using it and, and stuff like that. Like it it's it has gotten better. It's you know it's not like yeah. Now you can say like John Cena making out with a shark, and you'd get you that could picture. <laughs> you could if you oh. wanted to. Um, actually, that's not true. That's actually not true. No? And, well, how do, okay, how does some, it work? I'm... For some backdoor AI, maybe. But I have Photoshop. I, I have the latest Photoshop update, and it has some AI features. And it won't let you put in any copywritten names or, or material, and it won't let you put in any, like, graphic. You know, you can't you can't type in John Cena head exploding because it's too violent, and it's, you know, you can't use someone's lookalike. Um, but that's the Photoshop version. Shit, yeah. Um, yeah. Which... which company was it recently that said something about AI but everything they do that has AI in it is going to be there's going to be like a watermark Jack's featured because I think that's where we're headed I think AI is going to be used heavily but I don't think it's going to be used without people being told that it's AI and I think people are then going to have the choice to decide whether they approve of that or not and I think some companies are going to make bad mistakes at some I think some companies are going to make good mistakes but I hope we get to a future where we're not all questioning, is this AI? Is that AI? I think, I hope, I really hope some laws are put into place so that if you use AI, it needs to be stated somewhere. We need to know it's AI. Because this then, whole nonsense is, like, like, is it AI we, or is it not? Like, if I work on a project and I use chat GPT to help me code, what was that? do I have to tell them that I use AI to help finish that project. I, I don't know. I think I think if things in that kind of area get too messy and it's, ridiculous, they might have to put some laws in place for stuff like that. Yeah, but until like then, that, I think it's mostly like going to be artists and stuff. Because like, they need yeah, protecting right now with the AI. The artist makes sense. You can make the argument, but like, from like ChatGPT is just like, oh my god. I don't know. It feels kind of like you're just doing. Google sh searches and it's coming up with like what you actually want instead of you have to go for all the junk. Yeah, a lot of people are hating on developers now that use ChatGPT to give them ideas for stuff, and I don't understand that. You can walk down the road and get an idea for something. What's wrong with using a computer to get a few extras? You know, like you're gonna get ideas from everywhere. Why say AI is no good when literally anywhere else is okay? Musicians hear a song and then write a song because they're inspired by that song they heard, directly influenced by a song they heard before. Marcus, Jack's got the Why data. is that okay? But having an AI say you should make this type of sandwich tomorrow, or you know you should you should write this kind of song for this album. Like why is that? 
wrong, you know what I mean? So I think there's going to be some instances where using AI is okay, and yeah. you don't need to put it yeah. in your in your references why or whatever. Do, but why? Why do Why do we like Jack in this game? We're not telling Jack to fuck off that little AI bitch. No, exactly. We're like Jack. Open that door for us. Thank you, Jack. Yeah. I um I use ChatGPT for uh, the fishathon. Before my webcam broke, I didn't. I couldn't think of any fishing related like silly goofy things to do on stream if we hit any goals or anything like that. So I typed into ChatGPT, "Hey, give me some silly stupid things oh, I can yeah. do on stream that are related to fishing." And I got a few ideas from it. Come on, come on, a lot of it didn't make any sense. A lot of it was like, oh, if you want to do a fishing birthday party, you should fish by the lake. And I was like, okay, that's not really what I'm talking about. But it still did give me a few ideas. So, like, it can help with creativity. I think the problem comes when you're like, hey, AI, do my fishing stream for me. <laughs> that's when it becomes an issue. Yeah. Um... Uh... Sucks to be you, artistic folk. Yeah, I think I think some 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 steps need to be put in place to protect true artists. I think I think AI art can should be allowed to be done, Control this but I don't delta. think it should be pulling Work from other people's works. First off, because that's gross. I think if you want to do AI art, you can, but you need to feed it with your own art first. Um, and I think if AI art is done, uh, if art is done with AI, I think it needs to be known that yeah, this was used done with AI, even if it's only a little bit. But I can't draw. How am I supposed to AI my art if I don't have art? You didn't think of that, did you? You, you can't. <laughs> you can't draw. You just don't draw, or you well, put in the work and just work why, and get better. Why can't I? Why, why am I not allowed to be an artiste? You are. Why can't I have my AI put in the work? Draw me pictures. Oh, shit. You put can. in the work. Put you in the work. Good. If you want an AI to do your work for you, you got to put in the baseline work Let's first. Get this bridge down. Bear, Simple as that. You're with me. Dom, what are we doing? Are we driving a car now? Our backs. Hurry up, man. That Brumac was right behind us. No, we got to get the bridge down. Or something. This place just ain't right. And again, fucking Trump could win the election in, in November and AI could be legalized and artists could all be put out of a fucking job because the world goes to shit. I, listen... I have no idea what to expect with this kind of stuff. Anything could happen. Uh, I don't know. It depends what his rich buddies want. Yeah. The way that Elon I, the... Musk keeps going on about... Well, I don't know what he keeps going I think he's kind of like, oh, AI. Can't trust it. So... Really? I feel like Musk would be for AI. His AI, I think anyway. Musk is, yeah, that's, I think... Not anybody else's, he would... but his. Yes, yeah, I yeah. think that's the big thing with Musk. And I don't um, necessarily want that. <laughs> no. So I actually watched a vlog. Um, some of the guys from the Oxcast, the Hat Films guys, went to Vegas for TwitchCon. And they've got the, the the tunnel, I think, the tube that goes under Vegas, where you get in a car and it's like a Tesla and it goes really, really fast. And it's supposed to be like piloted by you don't, you piece AI and just takes you really, really fast in a tunnel underground. But uh, the Hat Films guys went to try it out, and not only was it not AI, it was a, just a dude driving, but he also went really slow. <laughs> so they were like, alright, well this was... this was garbage. But um, they also went to see the Sphere, which I thought was pretty interesting. They said that that was pretty cool. A really weird thing to exist, but interesting all the same. The Sphere? Yeah. Focus reinforcement! They do. They did like a climate, like a climate presentation with like beautiful visuals from around the Earth and stuff like that. And you watch it inside the sphere on like this massive, okay. this massive, you know, curved circular screen. So it's almost like VR, I guess, but with no headset. You're just in a room, watching on like a, like a dome screen. It just kind of feels like you're there. But that's. I mean, that's has nothing to do with AI. That's just a cool screen. <laughs> That's a spicy meat, though. That's a spicy... It could be. They can put anything on that they want on the sphere. On the outside, anyway. How do you prove it's spicy, though? Uh, you could offer samples of the sauce at the concession Ooh, stand vision. on the way out. Or, <laughs> or just invent taste vision, yeah. 
Anyone can be an artist. It came free with your experience. We're with your existence. Just pick up a pencil and put it to paper. Exactly, yeah. Anybody can be an artist. You don't have to be good at it. And if you're not good at it, you can get good at it. Just like singing. Anybody can sing. You just gotta go learn how to do it. Anybody, anybody can learn how to do anything. We need to restore power to the I don't know about that. Copy that, Delta. Stand by. Hyperloop was created just to sabotage high-speed rail efforts to push more people to keep buying cars. Oh, dear. I think everybody should get rid of their car. Roger that. Dom, you're with me. Well, that's an easy Bear thing for me to Cole, say, considering I've never had one. Guard the this is nuts. There's gotta be another way. Bear, how how easy squad, would your life be call. if you had a car? So much easier. As the power comes <laughs> back online. But we live for the struggle, man. you know? That's another thing with the toxic fandoms. All these people who say this is woke and ruining everything, they've always been there too. It's just now people realize there's a market, so now they put an averaging bu advertising budget to the side. Yeah. I hate. The whole fucking woke bullshit is. Anytime someone I... says the word woke, I want to punch me in the face. Oh, yeah. I I'm so hate sick and tired of hearing woke. about it. Oh, seriously. Like, man, fuck off. You sounded just like your old man back there. Yeah, well, screw my old I can't believe it's 2024 and people still hate yeah, well, the existence of women. It, I don't understand. Somehow, I, don't think I do not understand. A lot of really, yeah. really burnt and hurt people out there in the world. Did you, like, I I don't know if I told, this, told you this or not, but, like, did you know that, like, the Canadian passport changed last Ratches. year, right? Yeah, did it? Yeah, so like, they changed the pictures in it. Because there are pictures in Passport. Right. And the leader of the Conservative Party, Paul Trudeau, like, said that Trudeau changing the pictures in the Passport, because like, you know, there's always, I think there was like a picture of like, a spike in the railway going, being put in, and like, I think the argument there is that like, with how we had like the Chinese, uh, Chinese people working on the railroads as like, I don't know if they were considered slaves, but it wasn't good. No, it wasn't good. But yeah, so like, there were pictures taken out at that like, you know, I guess you could, there's probably some racist context to some of them. Yep. Likely. It, that's what happens with the build in the country. Yep. Uh... And he called it like he he said that changing the pictures in the passport, you know, no one gives a shit about the pictures in the passport. No, nope. or is like dividing the country and like, and it, you know, he used the word woke, woke for pictures in a passport. Yep. Like, yep. It's a buzzword I mean, to get yes, the Trump supporters is. angry and on your side. That's all it is. As soon as no, they hear the, I'll, as soon as they hear the word, they're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Panic! Panic! Panic!" Next thing you know, they'll be putting women on the front of the, uh, on the front of the uh, money. Then people will really freak out, wouldn't they? How long has the queen been under the dollar bill? Nobody gave a fucking shit. Yeah, here. But I bet if they tried to put another woman on the paper, they'd be like, "I can't believe they're putting a woman on the money! What are they doing?" Pretty they're sure fucking they literally morons. Yeah, because didn't we know, put like we put a woman and three men on one of our bills, right? And I'm pretty sure people were furious. Yeah, this woke propaganda. They're putting pictures of women on our money. Oh my god, the queen has been there so like <laughs> so. Oh my god, these arguments are just. They have no merit. They're just absolute morons. But because. The former president is also a fucking moron. It's it's the it's the it's the majority wins, really. Well, you know. You got Pop Tarts, Mel? Oh hell yeah. Hi Mel, how's it going? I'm glad you have Pop Tarts. We won't, we won't say majority wins because uh Hopefully he lost. He, well, not the first time. No, not the first time, but there was a difference between the first time and the second oh, time. Oh, yeah. The first Thanks. time was like, Thankfully. he's not winning. Um, and also people thought he wasn't going to be as bad as he was. Yeah. And yeah, no, Schizo, we have, we have Trump supporters here in Canada. Oh, 100%. 
Oh, 100%. And they're all on the pier. Pier train now. Fucking idiot. Uh... Carlson Tucker was up in Alberta. And yeah, he was doing a... Another fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well, boy, he's so fu he's such a fucking idiot. He lost his job over it. Yeah. Like, he had like his job was to be a fucking and, idiot, and he was so and, much of a fucking idiot. They had to fire him for being a yeah. fucking idiot, and which like, is ridiculous. He lost, they, he lost them up, like he made them a lot of money. Yeah, for so being a fucking know, idiot. <laughs> yeah, so you know it was bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, yeah, he was up, and he was even Good. like he did a like a talk with the premier of Alberta. Yeah, we are we are very very closely related. Whatever happens in the states, drastically affects what happens here as well. So Alberta is really bad for it. Alberta is very. Um, we have no chance but to pay, we have no choice but to pay attention to American politics because it almost affects us more than our Canadian politics does. Alberta has always Alberta has always always been the America. Oh the yeah. United States of Canada. It's also where all the Noofies end up. Uh, open border policy. They're not sending their best. Wait, for what? Pop-Tarts. Uh, let's just talk about Pop-Tarts. Favorite kind of Pop-Tart, John? Favorite type of Pop-Tart? Yeah, do you have a favorite flavor, or you, you not really mind? Uh... I'll go for anything. I won't, no, not anything. But, uh, you know, I like... I mean, strawberry's good, cherry's good. I, it's, I don't eat pop tarts like you do. No, no, I know. Yo, cherry, you had cherry before? Gotta be close to those power lines. Cherry Can pop tarts? Up there? I think so. No, wait, cherry or is it raspberry? I definitely have raspberry. Maybe raspberry, because I always get this confused too. Because Matt, Matt told me that cherry is only available in the, in the states. I think. Okay. Oh, we might have had them here before. I could be wrong. Yeah. You might have had them, but I'm not sure. I might have had cherry before, but I've, I'm not. I don't remember. I had strawberry most recently. Maybe not. What kind do you have now, Mel? Do you, did you say? You didn't say. What kind do you have now? Strawberry, strawberry pop tarts for me is that's the default pop tart. It's not like the best one. It's not the worst one. It's just this is what baseline pop tart is, in my mind. Yeah, I can do that. It's not great. It's it's not the best. It's not the worst. I'm not gonna turn one down. Okay, I literally have no ammo for any of my guns. You better get some. I forgot we were There's playing Gears of War. Up there. Do you know we're playing Gears of War still? I do. <laughs> Got lost in those conversations. I don't know if I've ever tried Blueberry either, Mel, you know? That's one of the more popular ones that I don't know if I've ever had. I've had Blueberry, I'm sure. I'm yeah, sure I probably yeah. have, but I, haven't, I certainly haven't had it recently. Maybe that's what I'll get next time. Cause I like blueberry. Nice, John. Find those power lines. You got it. Power lines. Power lines. You love power first, lines. You <laughs> first, to, first you GTA had power lines and GTA 5 doesn't. Riot. Riot. Oh shit. I think every game should have power lines in it. Caroline, but from the <laughs> from the Goofy movie. I was literally just thinking that when I said it to you. <clears throat> There's an Iron Brew flavored Pop Tart. Are you kidding me? Iron Blue? Iron Brew. Oh. I would 100% try that. Look out, John, behind you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd like it either. Power but lines. I'd still definitely try it. Power lines. Look at that. Look at that. Act 5. Desperation. Comedy of errors. Do, 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 Just do. to touch on the power lines thing one more time as well. It's 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 something that I want to see in GTA 6, but it's not something I necessarily Delta, think we'll see. Because that could also be a programming nightmare. What's your status? To have that many power lines over a map that big. Well, it, I don't think it. Well, I don't know how much if it would be a programming nightmare, or more like a 
no problem. A memory Pain. thing. Like, yeah. Pain. Loading all the data to have the power lines do what they need to. It might just be unnecessary. You know? I think it would just be like if they can write the code and they just copy and paste like like sections of power lines all over the place and like it's not like the land i mean like you could maybe the terrain might play some part somehow mm. i don't really understand coding enough to know how do like feasible that is yeah i'm not much of a but let me tell you if we're if we're ever watching like a xbox presentation or something like that live and they show off gameplay trailer for gta 6 the Pastor Party community is going to pop the fuck off for some power lines, let me tell you. <laughs> or I am, anyway. I'll be stoked. You, That's what I'll be should, looking uh, for when the first gameplay trailer comes out. Yeah, power lines. <laughs> power Listen, lines. It's, it is one of, the, it's one of those things that, like, if they show it off, you know it's going to be in a headline on a Kotaku article or something. Yeah, There's look how interactive all of these head these power lines are you, in GTA you can 6. crash into a power line. GTA 6, the most interactive game ever. Yep. You can see every single scratch on my Chevy... Uh, Chevy... I don't know anything about Chevy. Uh, just put a period there. You can see every scratch on my Chevy. My Chevy. <laughs> We just must be running away from this thing, are we? Is that a Digimon? No, that's... That's, uh... That's Dynamax. Blast Choice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Photons ripping off designs. Yeah, time to sue him. Is Power World ripping off designs from Gears of War? Maybe. Maybe. I haven't seen this one in Power World yet, but it could be. I mean, if Pokemon steals from Gears of War, and Power, I mean, it is Pokemon with guns. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's a big fucker with guns. You are right. I am. Um, not to, I, I really don't want to really get back into the Power World discussion, but I did want to point out that a lot of early Pokemon designs can also be found very, very similar in earlier Dragon Quest games. Um, which people have been very quick to point out that, like, yeah. You may say that Pal World stole very obviously designs from Pokemon, but Pokemon certainly did the same thing to Dragon Quest. Uh, I, I'd have to. Uh... It's just inspiration, right? Sometimes it's a bit too too close. Sometimes it's not not so close, and you can kind of get away with it. I think Pal World just. Yeah. Got... Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's the question about. And it's also. Now. Thank you very much. People did a tier list as well of unique designs in Pal World versus yeah. ones that look just like Pokemon. There's like ten. Out of the 111 that are in the game, there's like ten that are way too close to Pokemon designs, which is why I say I could see them just taking those ones out and replacing them with different designs sometime in yeah. the future or something like that. You know, because yeah. there's only ten. It's not like it's all 111. Um, That's barely like ten percent, so. Exactly, yeah. So like it is, it's still, uh, well, it's still an issue. Like I, I, I still think yeah. you know, something should maybe be done. Maybe some designs can be changed or updated or tweaked a little bit. You know, something like that can be done, no problem. Because then you don't need to, you know, if these artists did come up with these ideas without any Pokemon influence, which is doubt, you know, there. doubt. But if so, then you're not like saying, hey, you directly ripped off this Pokemon, take it out of the game. You can tweak it, you can change it, you can update it. I'm sure the artists already have ideas of how they could have maybe changed these designs or something, you know? They're gonna have to pay out to Nintendo or the Pokemon company, though. They might. Well, Nintendo I issued, mean... The Pokemon company issued a statement and said that they, they are very aware and they're looking into it, but... Let's grab some ammo. You know, nothing's been done yet. So. Shit, yeah, but I mean, ammo! like... Keep him away from Jack. Okay. Sometimes things takes time. Maybe sometimes they might, oh, yeah. they might just be like, because like if they do yeah, go yeah. to court and like they do have to end up taking a couple of designs out, you know they're going to have to pay Nintendo or the Pokemon company some money because they're going to make the argument that like Cyber. you made profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Yep. I, I, I think it's a possibility. I don't think it's likely. I don't think Nintendo really thinks they need to worry about this kind of thing. I think Nintendo is very, very well aware that they have the highest selling franchise in history and that another game putting out a, you know, 
having some of their designs in it or whatever. I don't think, you know, I don't know if that's worth Nintendo's effort, honestly. If they wanted to make a statement, sure. But like, I don't know. I don't know if they will. Social media bullies companies into doing things or annoys them enough. Yeah, they probably wouldn't bother if people weren't tweeting at them the entire time, yeah. Well, you never know, though, all the same. Yeah, but I thought Nintendo didn't listen to fans. Well, that's what they'll say until they, until they do. They did respond, though. That was that's not, that's a real thing that happened. They said that they were going to keep an eye on it. But... Did we win? Is this good? No. Oh yes. Yeah. Doesn't feel like we won. Oh, we did. Okay. Jack, rip that door. You guys make it out okay? We're alive. I agree, Mel. I think that statement on on the Pokemon Company's part was just like a, can you shut up? <laughs> we we see it. We get it. We don't care. Please leave us alone. But you never know, right? It could they, they could still have something in the works in the background. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's difference. That because like you know that. They're probably talking to Microsoft. They're probably talking to Valve. It's not quite straight to like let's sue them. Like there's no, no. There's definitely conversations happening. To be a back door. Let's split up. We'll find it faster. We're going left. I'll head upstairs. You check the main hall for a back door. Do, do, do. Nintendo don't listen to fans. Also Nintendo. Cancels every in-person press event that isn't pre-recorded since Sword and Shield announced the Pokedex changes. Yeah, right. I didn't think of that. Listen. All I'm s I don't know. I don't know copyright laws. No. Um if I was to make a bet, I would expect a lawsuit. I'm not gonna say that there's gonna be a lawsuit or they're gonna win it, but I think, or even like, if they were like, if maybe Sit even if just depending on a particular judge, I do think that like, yeah, that could they could too, easily right? win, depending on like who they have or like they have better lawyers. Like, I'm just saying, like, be prepared to like have something come out of it. Uh, yeah. It it goes both. It honestly goes both ways for me. I I would, I wouldn't be surprised if we just never hear about it ever again. But it also wouldn't shock me if a lawsuit does pop up. I'm sure yeah, we'll all hear about I, it if it does though. And again, yeah, I think I think if if a lawsuit does pop up, it'll just be, give us the money you you made from our designs and then change them, and then it's it's settled. Like I don't think it's going to be a big yeah. deal. It's not going to be a big fight. Pal World will apologize and change some designs, pay out a bit of money, and then. It'll be over. Like, it's not going to be a big deal, I like, don't think. Nintendo doesn't want you, like... They, they're a bit, like... If anything, Pal World releasing has put a positive light on Pokemon after the not-so-positive light that they've had the last few years. Ow. Well, because people have been... It, uh, well, no, some people I'll... have been saying, Hey, Pal World looks so much better than Pokemon. We love it. It was fuck well, Pokemon, but other well, people yeah. have been saying like, no, no, we love Pokemon, and we don't care how it looks. I think it's more of the like. I don't think that's it. That all it does is that it um, strengthens, like, it just adds people if they're upset with Pokemon. Our world just like goes to say like, oh yeah, you see, Marcus, we're we're out. right to be upset with Pokemon or whatever. Yeah. Because this company does it better. And then, like, people who are, like, hardcore Pokemon fans are saying that's a ripoff. It doesn't, it's not a net pot. It's not, it no, doesn't I guess change. Maybe it it. Isn't. It's just another topic of conversation for people to get upset about. Yeah. Let's split up. We'll find it faster. I, 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 maybe I'm just a pessimist. Pes you, you know, I'm, I'm very critical. Door. I'm very cynical. And I just think, like, be prepared for something to happen. Like you're all enjoying the game, 
be prepared for something to negatively happen to it. it I'm not saying that the game's gonna be gone forever, but something, something's got, gonna change. Uh, imagine if Twitter existed when Digimon came out, yeah. Just fucking imagine. Oh yeah, there would have been, there would have been riots in the streets. There would have been chaos in the streets. Chaos on the streets of Brooklyn. London. What's that song? Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. like how, no, I, I don't, like... I don't understand how you can say that there's going to be a lawsuit when you look at the Dragon Quest pictures and you look at Digimon existing and not having an issue. You look at Nino Kuni existing. They've got some similar designs. You look at Yokai Watch existing. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Cinder Ace. And take that grass looking soccer yeah. rabbit. Too similar. Needs to be changed. Agreed. Show me what, what is it in oh what what does Digimon and Pokemon have that's so similar to that? What does Di Pokemon and because Pokemon and Dragon Quest, like I they might be similar, but you have to realize they're still early designs. It's like one is oh look a dinosaur dragon. Oh look a dinosaur dragon. There's like a difference between making dinosaur dragons and making build up rabbits that look to be pretty much the same height wearing shorts there's like there's similarities yes but there's like they went too far is like what we're getting at yeah like I said too close needs to be changed absolutely but I think there is an argument that some of the older Pokemon designs and the Dragon Quest designs are a bit Okay, you were definitely looking at Dragon Quest when you made this. Same, very I'd similar have, to Power World. I'd have to, I'd like to... I'd it's definitely worth looking it. up. Yeah, yeah, it's something you have to I'm, see for yourself. Same with Digimon and stuff oh, like that. I'm not familiar enough with, like, Digimon or Yokai Watch or, or even Nino Kuni, a game that I've played. I'd have to, like, see the designs myself to, to judge them. Talking about them without having them in front of you is a bit di difficult. Yeah. yeah. Worth looking into. I, I, I encourage everybody to go at least have a look. But the, like... You, if you, if I was to give you a Pokemon and give you a Digimon, like they're gonna be, like they're gonna have their own designs. Yeah, like but, their own style. Like what? There's a Digimon style. There's a Pokemon style. But at the same time, there's also like you could show me, if you if you showed my grandmother two Pokemon and two Digimon and asked her to tell you which one was the Pokemon, and which one was the Digimon, she wouldn't be able to tell you. Oh, good. Then I hope your mom isn't the judge. Well, yeah. Because they're fucked. Like, if you show my grandmother a, a, a creature from a game and a creature from another game, I'm not going to be able to tell you. Shoot down the wall. Okay, but, like... Like, they they all look different. You know what I mean? If you put, if you put a Digimon okay, and a Pokemon okay, next okay, to each other... Okay, if you okay, put... How about this? How about this? How about this? What if you took an artist and who has never seen a Digimon? Or like a Pokemon or a Power World monster, and have the artist look at it. Not your grandmother who doesn't know anything about it. An artist who would look like would look at the styles and see similarities. Yeah. And like. Well, now you're on like something. Yeah. Stage. Shoot down the wall. Well, artists have have picked it apart on Twitter. That's that's another that's another thing. Cause someone on Twitter who claimed to be an artist took the Power World uh, 3D uh, models and compared them to the Pokemon models. Uh, made a tweet saying that, yeah, they're almost identical. Power World clearly ripped these off. And then later on, admitted to lying about it. So, there's also artists out there that are using their... And then they made a tweet saying that they only wanted Power World to fail because they disagree with animal abuse. Yeah, so, like... So... Then they also would want Pokemon to fail. Well, yeah, that's... You'd think, right? But... You know, they just causing Twitter drama. Anyway, no, I think I think yeah. if if there is a lawsuit, I hope they do get some artists to come in and like really pick them apart because I think that's what you need in a case like that. You need people who know what they're talking about in those scenarios. When art is being compared to art, the best people to talk about it are artists. Yeah, people, the experts. Like, hear from the artists on the Pokemon team, hear from the artists on the Pal World team, and then hear from some other artists selected from outside of the yeah, trials. Yeah, so and... the people who do free mod like 3D modeling and stuff. Yeah. That's who I'd be most... Like, if I was to look up... 
anybody's opinion on the Pal World versus Pokemon debate right now. That's who I'd be most interested to listen to, honestly, is artists who have opinions on this. Just interesting stuff, really, at the end of the day. Ow. I mean, uh... You didn't want to get into that topic. I didn't. I, I didn't want to get it back into the Power World thing, but I, we kept it simple. It was good. We're all we're all cool here. All good and groovy. Oh, I'm fucking dead. I hate fucking dying in this game. We'll just do it again. Okay. Yeah. On the other hand, no artist will end up in the court. It'll all be lawyers and judges. You're right. I'll head upstairs. Right. You check the main hall for a But again, I don't even know if it'll get to that point because I, I don't think that it'll go to court. I think if there's a Ow. if there's a sue or anything like that, if there's a if there's a claim made, I think it'll just be settled outside of court. I don't. How? Yes. I can't if see this being a big fight. Or anything. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. The way that CEO talks about how it's not like. But yeah, it should be settled out of court. And how like if it did go into court, why wouldn't there be artists like? A judge is a judge isn't gonna know what they're talking about. You well, yeah, that's what I mean. Wouldn't you? I would hope. Yeah. So. You would hope, but listen, the court system hasn't really been working out for a lot of people lately. So I don't know. I, I, you would hope that that's what they would do. I think they're gonna do that. Uh, are we just supposed to be I, again? Kinda of don't really know what we're supposed to be doing here. We have split up from each other. Yeah. Why well, maybe need to kill the guys on this other side here? Why doesn't my chainsaw just keep going? There we go. Yeah, just Ooh. stay alive for now. Kill things. Yeah. At the end of the day, too, Pal World gave me a week of entertainment, and that's you know, that was fun. That was good. Still haven't played the second Pokemon DLC. <laughs> Marcus, ah. is out. I can see you. You're right there. Okay. I'm fine. <clears throat> One more time, should we try? Well, yeah. I'm going to keep trying because <laughs> upper wise will never finish the game. I got 20 minutes. Yeah, we got to get to the next checkpoint at least. Hmm. There has to be a okay. back door. Let's split I'm just going to go place. very slow. I'm going to let the enemies oh, come to me. You check the main hall for I'm a not even going to play. No season this has come out yet either, no, that's true. I feel like those are the fastest things to pop up. Okay, so I'm dropping this bridge on this guy. Oh, I died this time. Uh, the biggest problem with Pal World and the designs is that there isn't a frog. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's not, is there? There has to be a back There's a lack of water types, I find, in Pal World. I'll head upstairs. Really? You check the main well, maybe not a lack, but like there's no there's no pals I mean, that are in the water. Probably. You know what I mean? They all spawn like near the water, but they're not in the water. Oh, because they don't have the there's no water like, figured out. Marcus, I guess not. You can swim theater. in water and stuff like that, but like there's no, no hammer of dawn. enemies that you like they need to swim for else. or anything like that. So. They probably don't have like a in water capture technique figured out. Maybe not yet. I also haven't seen all the pals or oh all my the God. areas, though, all the same in the world, so I don't know. Okay. Um, if you guys haven't already, to be make sure to go check out my uh, YouTube video on Friday if you haven't seen it yet. I'll head upstairs. You Appreciate check all the, the uh, all the views and the. In the, in the Comments and likes and stuff on that video. It, um, I've got to actually start the next one today. Because we've got some new Pokemon Marcus, in Pokemon Go. Found our no From Gen 9. Which is cool. You gotta think of something else. Love a bit of Gen 9. I think the designs in Gen 9 were amazing. A lot of love to my boy Applin as well in Gen 9. Which you're not going to see me complaining about. Pookie, you're first. Oh my goodness. You've done it. You've done it. Well done. GG's. Not, I mean, not quite first. Well, good job anyway. Good good effort for trying. Oh, 
shit, shit, shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go the other way, maybe? No. You swap I'm routes. Doing just one. No. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wait in the Let's corner. Find it faster. I've. I've got the strat figured oh, out. Am I? We've been, we've been talking too much. It's am I killing everybody from up here as well? Is that what I'm doing? No, you're not killing everyone. Are you hiding in a corner and I'm just shooting down at everybody that's trying to kill you? I'm, I'm in a corner, so like they don't all oh, okay. attack at me at all the right. same time. You gotta figure something else. There's just a bunch of wretches. I'll drop the bridge on his head. Like that. Thank you for the hydrate. Perfect, perfect. Hey, so. Okay, so, okay, so. The zoom in on this look looks a bit des be desired, doesn't it? Or am I doing it wrong? I'm doing it wrong. I think I did that same thing last time too. I <laughs> can you get that guy with the gun up there? Yes, I can try. I've got a sniper now. Or like, oh shit, Adam. I've shot everybody I can shoot. Okay. I'm going. He must be coming to this door, maybe? Do I have to go to this door? Hmm. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. I'm dead Marcus, again. Dom is out. All right, we got a better idea of it there. The guy that shows up for me first drops a sniper, and I didn't realize. But that helps me take out that turret, so I'll do that first. There has to be a back door. Let's split up. We'll find it faster. I'll looking for the back door. You check the main hall for a back door. All right. He's down. Sniper is right here. Oh jeez, I bet it flew down into the hole a few times. You gotta think of something else. Uh, let me see. Where is? Okay, there it is. Oh, come on. Why is that not hitting him? What sniper is this? Shoot down the wall. Hey. The game is having all of my snipe shots miss. They don't like us. It's like hitting off the top of the turret or whatever. Maybe now I can hit him. He's probably distracted by watching me, so. Like, why did that bullet go there? Bullets are hitting just fine. I am out of ammo now, though. I might. Steps that I. I hear footsteps. Okay. Got him. Cool. Okay. There's more guys coming in. Yeah. Oh, I went to reload too fast. Ooh, gross. There's so many guys. Yeah, I'm fucked. Is that you? No, let's... No ammo 
all again. Oh, there's some over here. Thank you, little guy. Oh no, I don't need any more, thank you. Back to the sniping. How are you doing? You still doing good? Fine oh. now. Yeah, yeah, there you go, I can see you now. Unrelated, we played a bunch of Fortnite yesterday. It was fun. Oh, did you really? Hell yeah, dude. I saw you guys were playing, um... Fuck. It was like a free... Oh, fuck! Fuck! It was like a free game on Steam or something like that? You must have switched over to Fortnite, did you? Hmm. There has to be a back door. Let's split up. We'll find it faster. This is your back shotgun. I'll head upstairs. You check the main hall for a back door. Alright, this is the one. I believe in us. Let's see those hype hype emotes in the chat. Let's let's get this. Let's get this bread. Marcus, found our cedar. And no hammer of dawn. Shit. Okay, bridge first, then turret. Bridge first, then turret. Shoot him in the shoulder, not in the head, because headshots miss. We're done. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Sniper uh, turret's down. That shot straight up just went off on an angle. Cover me. There we go. No, oh, I don't want to die. Oh my god, these shots. Um, big updates to Sea of Thieves, too. I thought they were kind of overwhelming. Underwhelming? But, um, yeah. apparently they're really, really good. You can, like, jump in, play Sea of Thieves for half an hour now, and then leave, and not have to, like, lose out on a bunch of stuff. Oh, just how does like, it work? Getting in and, like, doing a quick quest just is so much faster now. Oh. Um, I don't know how it works myself yet. I haven't jumped in to try it, but... You can like basically you pick a quest and then you dive and you end up right at that island. Um, so like if you want to do an Ashen Lord, you pick an Ashen Lord quest and then it'll put you onto a server that has an Ashen Lord that nobody else is already doing, and it'll bring you right to that island. So it's like, oh, you want to do an Ashen Lord? Here, do an Ashen Lord. Now, there has to be a back door. just because it's uncontested doesn't mean that. Once you start it, another ship on that same server won't come over and, you know, intercept you. But, you can just get started so much quicker now. I don't know how to do this. I keep getting pinned down. Yeah, I don't, uh... don't know what to... what to suggest. We managed to get you over to that other room. Once. So if we can just... hold out, I guess. What if you shoot the bridge? Can you hit it I, from there? I don't. Maybe I can like try to cover fire. Maybe I don't know. Marcus, the stage. Shoot down the wall. Nope. You want? Yeah. Marcus, the stage. Shoot down the walls. All right. So that's a me thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you as much cover fire up here as I can. Cover me! Shit. I'm not working with a lot of ammo up here either. Yeah, well. 
I'm doing all right, but like limited. I didn't hit any of them. There, yeah. You're good. You're, you're you should be clear now for a little bit until they literally crawl out of the ground. Oh, that's where he was hiding to. Oh, I didn't see him there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Skizo, I'm absolutely down to play Fortnite. I'm uh, I'm a bit busy tonight. I've got to get all my TikToks and stuff planned for the week and and streams uploaded and whatnot. But if I've got some time later, maybe. We got Avatar tonight, too. Don't forget, next four episodes of Avatar tonight, 7 p.m. Ending things off with our very first two-parter in the series. That'll be fun. Shit, shit. You progressed. Yeah, because this time I was ready not to get hit by a fucking chainsaw. I didn't know you progressed, and a guy came up behind me because I didn't realize my door. the door was open. I saw you playing Splitgate. Yeah, I wasn't sure. There has to be I don't know anything about that one. I'll have to look into it. We'll find it faster. I'll head upstairs. You check the main hall for a back door. I saw All you right. kind of like going through the door, but didn't realize what happened afterwards. We got this this time, though. We we got it under control. No hammer of dawn. You gotta think of something else. If you like Halo and Portal, you'll like Split Game. Really? I do like two of those things. We should... I, I think we've talked about it before, but we should do the Portal co-op sometime. Yeah, we have talked about that. That would be a quick one-off, I think. Maybe a two-parter. I, I don't have the Portal 2 Magnet. That still bothers me. Why don't you? But you love that game. I do. I just haven't streamed it on stream. I think I streamed it once for a bit when I first started, and I don't think there was anybody in chat, so I stopped. <laughs> I might have to go through it again. I feel everybody knows the story and the plot of Portal, so watching someone go through it is just like, eh, it's not super interesting. There's nothing I can do with it to make it interesting either. It's just a game you kind of have to go through. Because the, the fun is in the dialogue. Cover me. I don't think there's anything I can offer to make it a more enjoyable experience. So there's I no point. I guess I could be using this gun, can't I? I could speedrun it, I suppose. Yeah, but that involves having to learn the speedrun. I don't want to do that. It's Halo multiplayer, but with portals. What on earth? Okay. Do you play against each other, or do you play on the same team? Online against others. Or is it all solo? I don't know if I'm actually hitting any of them. I must be. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the gun you were talking about. Nice. I don't think there's anybody around. Or are they hiding down there? They're probably hiding. No, I think I got all of these ones. Oh, there's something somewhere. Yeah, they came through the door above me here. Oh, did we just get a checkpoint? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. We did it. Oh, there's still more fucking enemies, though. Oh, yeah, it's not over yet. But that... We'll probably start here if we die. Sound effect though. means, like... The fight's over. Okay, let's meet up. Let's get through the Help shit. Help me out here, Dom. Move that wall over. Help me out here, Dom. You got a guy on your tail. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did a little bit of the speedrunning for Portal 1 there a few years back. That was alright. I don't think I got too involved, but... I remember hearing about it. Did I do something? Yep. Now move it back. Dead end. Can you move that wall? Oh, wait. No, I've got to move this one. Yeah, stop telling me to do everything. <laughs> do something yourself. You're I will. Lazy. I will. I am. Okay. Hooray! How many? Get over here! It's right there! Oh shit. How many what? I'm just Man, gonna see how many, um. Okay, what now, uh. Acts are in. Control, this is Delta. Do or you chapters read? in this game. It's five, isn't it? We started Shit's halfway through two out. today. Okay. No, we started halfway for that train is with Anya's help. Three. So re oh. Yeah, it's five acts, priority. but how many chapters? Because right. if there's only two chapters in Act Five, it's a question: How long is this going to take? Okay. Now there's like, what is this? One window shopping? There's like still like another five chapters or so. Oh, okay. We've got another stream out of it then. Wow, not a full stream. No. An hour, maybe. Well, we'll finish Gears next week and we'll do a tier list. Oh. We'll rank all the pals on a tier list from Power. Who knows what's going to happen next week? We'll <laughs> let you know. Yeah, we might not even be here next week. Maybe we'll we will. Maybe we will. We will do a tier list for Pal. Or maybe we'll do... Uh... I feel there's definitely other things me and you can do tier lists of that would be more interesting than that. <laughs> I think we can maybe we'll... come up with something better. There's another game maybe. that we both just bought that we could just play next week as well. Yeah. It's always a possibility. There's lots of things. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for a bit of Gears today, though. You're welcome. I didn't make it. hope you enjoyed. I know, but you, you, you made it for me, John. Having you here made it for me. Oh, cool. Um, and I mean, it wouldn't have been I... the same without you, so glad to have you. No, no, because I'm entertaining. Yeah. I carry your stream. Let's not be around you put on the. What? Hold on, what is this you put on the ISS ass playlist? Arms. Is it the... Is it the theme song? Yeah, that's one of the songs from Arms. Oh, I only know the theme song. <laughs> well, the, the, like, the stage, like, a lot of them is just, like, different versions of the main theme. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. All right. Well, thanks for playing. Maybe we'll, uh, cool. maybe we'll, we'll probably play some Fortnite this week. Yeah. Get some we'll weekies and whatnot. Yeah. What's going to happen? Everybody make sure to jump yeah. in. If you've got the battle pass, you can get Solid Snake now. You can get Old Snake in Fortnite. Make sure to do so. Old um, Snake. Still solid snake too. There you go. That's true. It's true. He's um, just old. That's probably what I'll stream tomorrow, honestly, is Fortnite. If nothing else comes to mind. We'll see. Um cool. anything you'd like to say before we go, John? Nope. Nope. All done and dusted. All done and dusted. Alrighty. Well I will talk to you later then. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Again. It's the third time you've ever said that. I'm just so grateful. Alrighty. Bye bye, sir. Bye. And to everyone else, don't forget. Oh, oh, I've left the call. You can't see me anymore. Uh, don't forget. We will see you uh, tonight in the Discord, 7 p.m. So that is in six hours time. We are watching the next four episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender, book one, Water. Join us in the Discord if you'd like. If you're not in the Discord, feel free to come join. There's a link right there. And uh, other than that, I'm posting the new stream schedule tonight as well, but I assume it's probably just going to be a bit of Fortnite and then something fun next weekend. We'll see. Have a good rest of your evening, everybody. And I'm glad uh, you have a good... Uh, I hope you had a good weekend, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.